Welcome back, everyone. We are back in the Taiyi sect. Uh, we have Shikian transcribing manuals right now. Uh, let's see. We also, we're going to have Zhang Panlan start to become one of our casters here, too. Great. So that's getting started. Let's see, we do have beds for them. We are reconstructing this wall here. So I, I, I'm not sure, I think they could get out, but now I know they can. So our outer disciples are pretty busy. Let's see, is there any secrets out there? Demons and artifacts. None of what uh, none of what we're interested in right now. Um, let's see. Uh, we do want to store these. I think I might have mentioned it. I'll have Zhang uh, store both of these. If that stuff gets stolen, uh, it's lost for good. Uh, but once we put it in our manual, it's basically saved forever. As long as we still have a library. So we'll take care of that. Ah, uh, that's right. Uh, we wanted to get a dormitory up and running. Um, I still haven't figured out a good spot for that, huh? There isn't really. Uh, we're we're going to put it up here. Um, we can always terraform later, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, just a bit of a nuisance. Uh, we do have a bunch of marble blocks now, uh, so we're going to use it out of that. Basically just a better form of the brownstone block, same element. So uh, the earth will feed the metal beds that we put in here. Let's uh, let's do um, something like this then. We're gonna plan this out a bit. Uh, I want uh, one one room here so that I can put stuff next to it. Pretty nice dormitory here. Um, so, let's see, do we have all of the decorations? It looks like we, uh, yeah, it looks like we do have them all now. So we'll put, um, so we'll put this up and add an iron bed. We'll flip it onto the other side. Oh, see how that. Yeah. Marble blocks. One, two, three. Yeah, hey, how you can't really center that. Uh, we'll do something different for that bed. the door so uh, let's see decoration uh, everyone can get a lamp that's fine kind of do like I think there's uh, dressing dressing yeah dressing tables these kind of look nice Let's see. Let's put in a nice um, shelf. Nah. Sensor. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good, yeah. Uh, we'll clear out all this stuff. We found out the grass was causing us problems last time. I think that's a good enough room. Yeah. Everything should be fed a decent amount of... Uh, Earth element from the walls. The walls, I think, you have to touch them. 
but I think these items actually uh, radiate the Feng Shui element uh, at least a couple of spots. So uh, everything should have a healthy amount of it. Looks like, yeah, they're all pretty pretty auspicious already. Might be able to get that up a little bit more after we chop, you know, cut out the grass. So good stuff. Um, we'll set her to mine. She's kind of a little bit unstable. Um, what is she mad about? It's hot. Uh, she has bad clothing. Bad clothing is probably what's causing both of those, to be honest. So, let's see. Uh, let's so... I think we're out of... Um, yeah, we're pretty much out of uh, hides. And we don't have cotton yet. Hmm. Tough. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's a dying cat. Kill that. And um, we don't have really a whole lot of creatures on the map. Could kill this bull, the boar. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we, we could just use fabric. So maybe what we do, um, let's see, we've already stored this, right? Oh, no, we haven't. Store. Take care of that. What happened to the, um... Okay, it looks like we have stored the other manuals, but I don't see... I guess they didn't get returned over here. Usually, oh yeah, okay, they haven't been, um... They were hidden. Uh, so let's see, yeah, it's been stored, and we don't have the store button here anymore. It's grayed out, so I know I can smelt it. Smelting is just destructing, uh, you know, destroying it. Uh, same thing with that. It says it's been placed in the manual pavilion in yellow. And the store button is grayed out, so we know that that's good. We just have to store this other manual that I didn't see last time. Oh, they're sleeping right now, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, our outers are kind of busy. So, um, we'll give them a bit of time. Uh, we'll also build, uh, because they do like it to be a little bit bright. Let's put up some, uh, lanterns outside here. Speed things up a little bit, just to get time moving a bit. Uh, let's see, flooring. We should probably put some floorboards down, right? Oh uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, we'll just use brown brownstone offcut. I'm pretty sure the uh, the flooring doesn't really matter. I don't think it affects anything. I could be wrong. Wooly needs a tool for hunting. Uh, that he does. So, Wooly, do you think you could get away with um, using the essence blade here? We'll find out. He might get hot. We'll see. Disturbance of the other world. Recent rumor coming from Seascape says there's been a sea region shrouded in cloud and fogs that has appeared in the deep sea to the north. It's unusually dangerous, as no one that has gone in is ever seen coming out. That sounds like uh, my kind of adventure. I think that's part of the story. So, um... Ooh, man. Uh, we'll do it later. <laughs> so that's four and a half days. Um, yeah, let, let's, uh, let's train first. So your mood is in the bucket. Yeah, so we do need to get... Um, do you need to get your clothing solved? How about we send you over here to get some cotton? Actually, do we want to camp there? Hmm. Uh, let's let's just adventure for for now. Oh man, it still takes one and a half days. Uh, yeah, for now let's do that five times and see what happens. You can leave now. Her mood is going to be poor. Uh, mood ultimately affects your 
how, how quickly your mental state is restored, I'm pretty sure. And um, and so she, she's not really going to be... She could do some cultivation, uh, practice and training and whatnot, but it's not... It's going to be hard for her to do that. Uh, I think it'd be better off... I think we'd be better off just getting some cotton, making some at least halfway decent clothing for uh, for them to wear uh, so that their mood is, is at least normalized. Uh, we do have some jade essence. We don't have any metal cultivators. Uh, we have the lumina core. We don't have any water cultivators. Okay. A couple spirit wood pieces. Uh, let's see. Your mood, on the other hand, is decent, even though it's scorching hot and you have terrible clothing as well. So, this is a sign to you. How about you go ahead and practice? That's right, we had her transcribe a law, which is a good early way of getting a bunch of experience. Uh, so that's 84,000. She can increase the conditioning chant which should actually give her even uh, an even higher match for a law. She's getting, yeah, pretty good. 157%. Is her, oh yeah, her perception is far from max still, so. Uh, yeah, let's finish it. There we go. For max, she is now 1400 at key shaping. That's without any uh, medicine or anything, so that's pretty good. This is just a basic cultivator here. Uh, she's not going to... Yeah, why is she doing that? It's interesting. Dim light of treasure has been seen at Mount Nalumbo. Okay, that's another artifact out there. Um, I think you'd have to fight for that stuff, so we're not going to do that. Hmm. Yeah, pretty weird that they're not... Uh, automatically going to their their cushion if they're assigned a cushion they should be going there to uh, to practice uh, but she can already do a breakthrough cool try to get her rolling as quick as possible I think she only has 180 days I think we said 170 hmm. okay Our outers are terribly busy right now, so uh, we're just going to let things kind of go for a bit. 100 insects killed a torch dragon. Oh, man. I wish that was me. You know, that'd be nice. Eventually, we'll be able to do that, I think, one day. Yeah, these are only slightly auspicious. Uh, that's fine. We'll make a game room later. Maybe put it, like, uh, right here or something. That'll be where a lot of the cultivators spend their time, so it should be somewhat central to their, like, living areas, just for efficiency's sake, you know? I think this is our only patch of uh, spirit soil. Um, let's pull it a little bit. Shikian, what do you... Oh, you failed? Okay your mental state up a little bit more. You are in harmony. Uh, Yin Yang is poor. She probably, I think what happens with these breakthroughs, at least for the non-golden core ones, is it just checks the state of the environment as soon as you finish the breakthrough. So she probably finished her breakthrough when Yin Yang was poor. I think I started this when Yin Yang was good. Um, the problem is, I don't know sometimes how long these breakthroughs take. I think if you, yeah, see if you... There's no, like, um, I don't think it tells you anywhere how long, like, just an estimate of, like, how long it'll take so you can kind of plan things out. But, uh, Zhang has arrived, and she got what we were looking for. So uh, we might have to have her do that again just to get a little bit more. But uh, let's see. It's 4 a.m. For yin and yang, you want the day. 
So we'll start it now. It's starting to turn already. I think it was pretty quick, right? Yeah, oh, okay. It, yeah, so this is like a two-hour breakthrough or something. Uh, luckily, Yin Yang should be good by then. It's already positive, yeah. And she has a little bit of XP. The location element isn't perfect because she's a wood cultivator. Uh, so she actually wants water chi around her. Tough luck, you know. Alright. That breakthrough is successful. We no longer have a breakthrough button up here, so we know. Oh, stuff is happening in the world. Kind of uh, uninteresting to us. We can't really... It's non-actionable, really. So. Uh, let's see. Shikian, can you return to practicing? Yep. Okay. This time you did actually go to your cushion. So that's good. Outers are almost finished with their basic dorm. Uh, we'll build a second one of these. Probably just right here, to be honest. And then uh, we can have our dojo off to the side here, maybe. Um, and then we'll probably put a kitchen right here. We will use some some of the fertile soil, but I've, I've made my peace with it. This is plenty of room for us for now, anyway. We can make more later on. Artifact is gone. That's all good. Uh, Shikian is a beast. Look at that. Already regenerating 10, 10 sheep per second by uh, sitting here around this spirit wood. Pretty nice. It'd be nice if, yeah, okay, so they're moving the spirit. She's moving the spirit wood right now. Excellent. So, uh, we do have some cotton now. Do we have a loom? We do not. Let's make it the same stuff out of the as the sewing table here. Uh, we'll put these nearby each other when we actually make a, uh, when we actually make a room. So this will also be iron. Well, let's just put it right here for now. Alchemist Peak, a boar, came to the realization of stars. Shikan yeah. has already reached a limit again. Uh, let's see. Yin Yang's about to go away. And this one actually does always check the, the cost before you do it. So this one actually does cost five years of her life. So we don't want to mess around with that one. Um... The season is kind of poor, but it's a low, you know, this is, we're still in chi shaping, so her success rate's pretty high. They're not too difficult. Um, but I think maybe we should, uh, let's get her at least a harmony on the mental state. Maybe even sort her mood out before we do that. Just be a little bit careful. We don't really have a whole lot of lifespan to play around with right now. Smelt. So that's done. Okay, there we go. Uh, we already have some indigo fabric, so we'll just keep making that stuff. Yeah. We have 20 cotton, so let's uh, just turn it all into indigo fabric. Uh, we do have dedicated uh, crafters. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you're okay, but we'll have... Um, hmm, Luli is just so much better at everything than everyone else. Hopefully he's the one doing the uh, actual clothes making. Uh, so crafting the fabric, um, there's no, if you mouse over the fabric, you can see there's no real quality setting for it. Um, there's nothing to differ differentiate one indigo fabric from another indigo fabric. So anyone can really do the, uh, the loom thing and it doesn't really matter as long as it just gets done. Uh, but when we make the clothing, as you can see here, all of them have a... 
attractiveness rating, a quality rating as well. And that quality will modify the stats on the, um, the item a little bit. And so if we're trying to make some really good clothing for our cultivators so that they're not, you know, pissed off about it like right now. <sighs> we'll want to make some good stuff, you know. Uh, okay, so that's 100 indigo fabric. Let's uh, give it a shot. Make a sect uniform and a cultivator pant. Uh, let's actually do two sets. Let's see how that goes. Uh, so they're done with their dormitory. Let's see. Um, let's build a uh, proper dojo hall down here, too. Right, so that'll be... Uh, I want the entrance to be... Yeah, like that. We'll make it that wide. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. I think we only need to be that big. I think that's I think that's right. Let's see. Uh wooden dummy. It's actually gonna be a metal dummy. Okay, so we do need a little bit more room. Uh, I'll just put them side by side, that's fine. It's not uh, ideal, but this is plenty of room. That's like, uh, what, at least uh, 12 spots or something. That'll be more, more than enough room for us. So let's find some... Um, some marble decorations then. Uh, I like these for the dojo. These are kind of cool. And then, um, yeah, there we go. I like the, um, yeah, the dragon. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, these cauldrons just are, no, that's right. Have to use the smaller one. It's pretty cool. This will give them a proper place to train. I think, like I said, every I'm pretty sure everything um, that can be affected by feng shui or feng shui. Um, it will add a bonus if it is auspicious. So you do kind of want to pay attention to it just to make the efficiency of everything a lot better. Um, and also, you don't want to keep rebuilding things, right? So pay pay a little bit of attention. It's worth it uh, when you're getting started just to figure out what the um, proper orientation of things is. Um, let's see. So it's a turtle. Thing. Or no, wait, that's a... Yeah, turtle. Uh, this turtle does have a sword. Um... Do we, we, we do have an artifact, right? I hope this doesn't add condemnation. I think if they're attacking us, I think it's okay. At least as long as we defend ourselves. Maybe we'll have... Uh, We'll have an outer disciple finish him off, but this is an easy way to just, you know, deal with people. Uh, is anyone around here? Uli. Yeah, can you take care of that really quick? So Zhang is out adventuring still. We'll probably, after this round, we'll probably just have a return. I think we have enough stuff for now. Uh, our people still make uh, some poor quality clothing, maybe. 
terrible clothing, yeah. What do you have on you? See, <laughs> your clothing isn't actually that terrible either. Well, I guess that one's poor. Um, yeah, we need to need to make better stuff. Uh, oh, and we're already out of indigo fabric. Interesting. So I guess we do need a lot of it. Uh, let's uh, use this guy's corpse to further fertilize our cotton. I guess we will have to leave uh, Zhang on that uh, on that duty here. So Yin Yang is perfect right at noon. Yeah, we can't do it additional. I think uh, additional, although it says it's like elixirs and treasure or adventure and stuff like that. I th in in my experience, the only way I've seen. Uh, you know how to get additional is to actually have a mentor so um, we can't do that yet you got that sign okay you lost here comes the missile Try that again. Seng's gonna go take a break, right? Yeah, he's gonna go rest. He got some venomous snake bites, but he'll walk it off in half a day. We're doing alright. I don't think uh, any of these other people are cultivation material. Let's just double check. I think, yeah, they're all pretty much just uh, temporary outers, at least. When Zhang arrived at the place, come on, cotton. Oh yeah, 40. Alright. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Outers are busy again, so um, speed things up. I don't really want Shikian to do. Well, she might be able to succeed now. Ooh boy, manifesting mandate. So, um, rumor says that there's a falling star in the middle of the day, and Taoist lotus sprouting out from the ground at Mount Kunlun. Possibly indicating an imminent manifestation of mandate of an ancient mortal. So, uh, long story short, this is actually just the ability for us to potentially pick up a new law passed down from an immortal. Uh, it's a pretty nice thing. I'm not sure we're going to be able to do it, uh, but we should try. Uh, yeah, Shikian, I don't think Zhang's stats are... Yeah, good at all. She's not good. So what it does is it kind of looks for your cultivator's uh, stats and says, uh, are, are you actually a fit for this law? If not, then you just get turned away at the door. So, and this is really far away. It's at Mount Kunlun, I think it said. Yeah, Mount Kunlun. So uh, first of all, let's visit. You can give them anything uh, just to, you know, break the ice. They'll tell you it's crappy no matter what. Yeah, completely useless. Uh, but now we have the ability to uh, trade for access, which we want anyway. Um, these guys, in their sect, they have uh, some nice furniture that we can learn how to build. And then uh, I know metagaming-wise that access costs 200 spirit stones. Uh, you can play around with this attempt trade button down here if you're new. So you can try, you know, 199 or 190, hit attempt trade, and he's like, no. And then you can just try to put in a new value and see if they say, yeah, good, I accept it, yep. So 200 for access. This will allow us to enter. 
Um, I could just do the adventure, you know, send them out on the manifesting mandate, and you don't need access to do that. You can uh, adventure to these places. You just can't enter them. And um, if I'm going to go all the way over here, it's, it's going to take like 10 days. <laughs> So if I'm going to go all the way out here, I definitely want to enter the map as well and, uh, you know, check out their furniture and whatnot. So, Shikyan, you can do that. The other nice part about this is, too, uh, it pauses her shape-shifting. So you'll see it's 170 days remaining for shape-shifting. When she's uh, out traveling, I think, and camping all of this time, as long as she's away from the sect, doesn't count towards her shape-shifting tribulation. So it's a good way of putting her on, on pause, to, you know what I mean, for now. So, uh, let's see. You don't need to sleep. You can just go adventure. So unfortunately what that means is that we're not going to have a whole lot of stuff going on here for a while. Zhang's returning. We'll probably work on her. Um, we'll set this to, to Zhang's uh, place for a bit. They can share it, you know, go back and forth. It's not ideal, but uh, it'll get us by. All right. See, already, uh, these training dummies are very auspicious. I never put doors on, though. Um, I think uh, normally you would want none of your rooms to have north-facing doors, but I think dojo doesn't really matter. So I think I think we'll be okay here. Let's see what the uh, room arrangement looks like. Also, I think I found out last time I was complaining uh, because I couldn't uh, I couldn't figure out what the uh, feng shui status was. I think it's because I'm in in immortal. Uh, in Immortal, I don't think you can see the uh, the room modifiers, so you just kind of have to know. Uh, so that's a benefit, though. I think if you're playing normal, it'll it'll tell you, uh, you know, what what's wrong with your room, and then you can sort it out from there. So this dormitory is actually very auspicious somehow. So this bed is aus very auspicious. This one is too, but these two are not. Uh, it could be some plants nearby still so let's try to take all that stuff out uh actually it could also be these marble lanterns too so let's put um yeah that looks cool yeah all right Uh, this one needs something else as well. Let's put, um, yeah, put a put a sensor right at the bed. You can kind of play around with this stuff. Uh, all of this furni uh, furniture, decoration, scenery. Uh, as long as it's not a feng shui building itself, it will admit the feng shui. So uh, just do whatever you want to do. Whatever whatever looks cool uh, to you is fine. Uh, a yao guy. Wants to be protected. Let's see. Bull. So a bull is hardworking, uh, and they're good farmers. Good constructors, too. Um, you only have 77 days. Uh, construction. Mm. No, it's fine for now. For some reason, we just have so many people that want to join our little community here. It's uh, unusual, I'll say that. So, uh, yeah, it must not be the grass then. I wonder... Hmm. Yeah, I guess there's still a bit of wood element around here there's not right there so let's see we might be able to overpower this this wood element uh, it, it must be maybe in the floor or something poor soil poor soil no it's not it's not the soil 
Hmm. Interesting. So this is this is kind of be going to be kind of the brute force method. We're just going to surround this bed basically with uh, earth stuff. They might not be able to get to it actually. Unearthing an artifact. An artifact is about to be unearthed there. Okay. So we need to be able to survive in negative 150 <laughs> degrees Celsius. Nope, not going to happen. Uh, I don't think they can reach it, so I'm going to knock out this wall really quick. Might have been better if we made this... Uh, maybe we do that now. Maybe we make it one taller. Maybe too taller. Uh, well, let's see what happens here. Yeah, so they can instantly start building after that. Uh, let's see. So uh, we want someone to start tailoring immediately. Let's tell uh, Wu Li down here to do that. That way, she, it's uh, he's got a 38 in uh, crafting, so maybe he'll he'll be able to make some good clothing for us. I think. Yep, he's coming over to do this stuff. <laughs> you can hear the zither playing in the background as well. Let's uh, just finish that stack, and then I want to get these made. See what the quality is while I'm watching it. Okay, yeah. Uh, 54. This should be acceptable. Let's find... Um... Oh, yeah, she's already... Uh... Oh, she's already on the hunt for new equipment. Let's try to give her this, then. She's gonna dance for a bit. It's all good. Uh, alright. So, uh, instantly that solved her clothing issue. Great, yep. So I think the quality is the most important thing here. Uh, she's wearing some exquisite, uh, or actually no, she just turned it down for a more attractive shirt with lower quality. So I guess it's attractiveness that's the most important thing. Uh, artifact is gone, it's all good. So uh, Zhang's mood is better now. Uh, she does still need an artifact. You know what, let's just, um, she's not going to fight, so let's just slap this on for now just to improve her mood. And, yep, clothing is good. It's still really hot around here. Yeah, it's 27 degrees. Uh, her clothing is still not really adequate. Zhang had a spark of inspiration. Uh, I see what the game did there. All right. <laughs> Zhang uh, sensed a sliver of truth, uh, gaining more cultivation, so that's extra experience, which they call experience there, but <laughs> it's called inspiration everywhere else. But it is actually, you know, experience, basically. Kind of funny. So she's already marking this shirt. This shirt is way better than that... Uh, random piece of bear hide uh, stuff, I guess. So they're automatically sorting it out. We do need more fabric, so let's get that. We're almost out of cotton again, but uh, we're actually growing it here too. So hopefully we'll be okay here. If not, we'll go and do some more adventuring, but
yeah, that's it's weird. Um, maybe this is gonna be a hot year or something, cause it's it's pretty early summer still, and we're already like burning. So, we could sort this out a little bit, putting stands in the rooms. Then putting some ice crystal ore in there. That'll help chill things down at least while they sleep. Alright. So we're going to have uh, Jean cultivate a bit. We'll borrow... Uh, Borrow she's uh, cultivation area here. Let's uh, chop down. See, we've got some blue trees for spirit wood. Let's take more of that stuff. She's already reached her first breakthrough. Uh, let's train or uh, reset her mental state a bit more here. Probably just try. Well, actually, we could probably just let's just try it now. These early breakthroughs are pretty easy. She's got a lot of good stuff going for her right now. Uh, climbing a turtle has gained some enlightenment. Yeah, that's okay. So actually, we do have an additional point here. Um, it might be from just that adventure that she had recently. Uh, maybe the fact that she got 40 cotton instead of 20 that one time. Maybe that was considered a fortuitous adventure. Um, there are some elixirs that you can use to improve the breakthrough chance, and I guess it goes right there. And then there are, there are also talismans, too. Um, so that's fine. Uh, this area does actually match her element because she's fire, and this is all wood cheese stuff, so. A rabbit has come to the sect. Okay. We've got a pet now. And uh, this is important. So, rebuilding our agency. The followers of the Taiyi sect are heard complaining about having no place to worship. Should you go investigate? Yes, we should. Our agency is very important. This is how we will attract followers to believe in us. So we'll let her do the breakthrough first, and then uh, immediately send her out to... Man, look at all that stuff. Yeah, she is... <laughs> she, Kiana, is still... Uh, not e Like, halfway there, maybe. <laughs> so Zhang will be able to go to the agency at Nanping Village to see what they're talking about. Some people got hurt. Uh, yeah, heat stroke. Things are hot right now. So actually what we'll do... We'll set up some uh, stands here and put some ice crystal ore in there. And uh, start moving people over here. Uh, yeah, all of these beds are very auspicious now, so they're going to love living in here. Shen. Uh, let's see. Kong Ye. Zhou Ming. And uh, Sang and Rui, I guess. So we're going to need a second one. I'm going to put another... I'm going to copy this whole thing and just put it right over here. But we're going to give them some time to clean this place up a bit. Uh, actually, we're going to demolish all this. That's what we're going to do. We don't need any of these junky beds anymore. 
And we definitely don't need these sec training spots. We don't really want them. To, we'll leave one right there for now. Until we get everyone fully moved over. Demolish. Demolish. Uh, and that did actually remove that last training spot. Let's just put it right there for now. Okay, this guy needs to be healed. He actually got cut by that snake. Um, and it's going to become corrupted soon. Uh, we do have herbs. Uh, is no one... I guess no one's prioritized on healing, huh? Set her to do that, first and foremost. He's got a heat stroke. This is the guy that's got the serious cut. Okay, now it's, it's fully healed now, so we're good. A puppy has appeared nearby. Let's adopt him. This guy's pretty cool and also important, I think, if you want to finish the story. Um, the dog will protect us. It's a spirit animal, basically. So, and we also get to raise him and tell him, like, what to do and what not to do and all that stuff. So he can organize items. Um, I don't actually want him to do that, though. Uh, that is a good idea if you're getting started, but I actually just want him to train, really. Spend most of his effort and, you know, time in the day training. So although that would help immensely right now, because we do need that, um, I just want him to kind of train. As you can see here, he already has 20,000 chi. <laughs> It's like 10 times more than any of our cultivators have. So he could wipe us out pretty easily. Uh, uh, yeah, often hone your protection, definitely. A little trick that you can do there too, because um, you can speed up their training, um, and the faster the training goes for the dog, the better off you are. Uh, you can set it to the value that you want, and then if you just discourage and then encourage in this case, it will automatically finish it so it closes this hesitant portion and then as you can see here he begins exercising immediately you can wait but then that's you know valuable time while he's just sitting there thinking about it um you know that he could be exercising and actually improving his stats so in here you have a whole ton of set of stats for the dog um it is said the mysterious cave belonged to an ancient mortal. Immortal. Okay. You have to be proficient in crafting. We could potentially do that with song or uh, with she when she gets back. We'll look at that. She can't has reached a limit. People are in a bad mood. This guy slacked in work as well. Yeah, fair. We're still getting things organized, so it's not a big deal. So Zhang is done uh, with her breakthrough. Looks like she succeeded, too. So let's head over to uh, rebuild the agency. Let's see what that's about. He's hesitating again. Spirit Stone. Okay. He's going to try to attack buildings. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, and you might not have noticed, but uh, since we told him not to attack buildings, his uh, curse rating has gone down. Right now he's moderately cursed. Um, so that can move slowly towards bless or more towards curse, depending on how you want to have him raised. I'm not sure exactly uh, what it does. Mod okay, so yeah, there it is. Moderate curse decreases barrier power while slightly increasing spell power and core attack power. So yeah, we don't want that. Um, the doggo is really good at protecting. You know, do doggo, doggo protect, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, so we want him to be a good dog. We want, we want him to be a blessed dog. 
We'll call him Doggo. So it looks like they're kind of getting things sorted. Let's uh, demolish this flooring for now. Might put some other stuff there, but uh, they're going to try to clean this area, and we don't really need them to right now. Uh, but if we demolish the floorboards, they'll just ignore it. So that's good. Kind of, It takes longer to demolish the floorboards than put it down. I guess that's probably fair, but it's kind of weird how much longer it takes. So we're going to put some uh, ice crystal ore. So uh, as you can see, if I mouse over this room, it's 27 degrees Celsius. Um, yeah, it's just, just kind of hot. But it'll probably get a little bit hotter as summer goes on here. So we can temporarily place on these stands uh, some ice crystal ore. It might interact with the chi here, but we'll, we'll see. It even if it does, it's just temporary. It's fine. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, you know, this is very auspicious already, so if it goes down any at all, it'll just be auspicious. It's not going to be noticeable. It'll be fine. Um, so this, uh, let's see. Okay, there's still some grass right there. That's probably the last piece messing around with it. Uh, no, this one's also... Hmm... Let's put, uh, let's put a uh, sensor here on either side then. I think that'll be enough. I think this grass is messing up this one a little bit, and then I think uh, we just need more earth chi uh, for these side ones. So we'll find out. I think this is a good arrangement. We'll see. Uh, we'll put some flooring down too. Um, for the dojo, that's that's the one right there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the other thing with the doggo, um, so as you can see, they'll, they'll raise their stats, but they need to eat stuff in order to actually improve uh, their performance, really. Um, and he is actually really hungry. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I can't even tell him to eat anything in particular right now. He's still a child, so he'll do it on his own. Just hunt that rabbit really quick. Uh, hunt that bull really quick. It's kind of close to our stuff. Just kind of clear out this area. Uli was under attack, but he handled it pretty easily. Group of bandits who make a living robbing people come. That'll be kind of a common recurrence, to be honest. Wow. This guy's a warrior. It's a 94-year-old <laughs> man coming to attack us. <laughs> All right. Uh, the dog's sleeping, but uh, we'll wake him up. Not trying to mess around with a 94-year-old man with the confidence to come over here and start swinging. This guy knows what he's doing. Oh, <laughs> he picked up that weapon. Okay, he's flopped, unconscious, but he's also in the dying state. That's what we want to make sure of. If he was just flopped or unconscious, uh, we'd have to finish him. But he's going to die on his own. We'll actually move him over to the field as well. So we'll fertilize our crops. Alright. 
So I'll let them clear out these floorboards, and then uh, we'll create another dormitory right here. Um, ten, ten, uh, ten regular mortals, I think, is more than we'll really want, especially uh, the later on the game goes. You actually start to decrease the number of uh, outers that you have and focus solely on cultivation. Speaking of which, uh, Zhang is almost there. Shikian is like halfway there still or something like that. Okay, yeah. Getting there though. Uh, we'll finish out uh, this array of spirit wood. Awesome. As you can see here, there's no feng shui in here. Manual pavilions don't have any. Uh, so I could put a door on either side here as well, just to make it more accessible. Might do that. Might do that later. We have more uh, pressing concerns right now. We need to get another dormitory up and running. And uh, we'll want to get a kitchen as well. Uh, so we'll probably put the kitchen down here or something, and then put the uh, like eating area and storage facilities up here. Uh, so how we want it to work, we want things to be kind of close by. That way our mortals aren't like running around everywhere trying to get stuff done. Um, at least early on, it's important. Later on, it becomes sort of irrelevant. But uh, we're going to build a kitchen probably right here once all this is done. Uh, an eating area will probably be like right here. Um, and then maybe our storage storage will be right here or something like that. Or maybe we'll do a kitchen right here. That way they can just walk out here, walk into the kitchen, cook. And then maybe put the tables right here and then put storage down here. I kind of like that better, actually. Let's do that. Chop down the spirit wood. We'll probably have to clear out all these trees, to be honest. Uh, we don't need a huge kitchen. Uh, I do make my kitchens in a certain way, and I'll show you. Um, to make it just even more efficient. For now, let's make some igneo copper bars and ice crystal bars. Although they're still building stuff and demolishing, so it'll be a bit. You want to eat cat meat? Go ahead. cave. Uh, it's another cave set up for artifact crafters. Shame we can't really test that. Shikian might not be good enough to do that right now anyway. Um, some of the adventures that you can go on are kind of based on you know what state your cultivator is in and right now both of our cultivators are chi shapers. Uh, so how it goes is you start on the cultivation journey shaping the chi around you in the uh, environment and then you focus that chi inside your body in the core shaping phase. So let's see. Uh, I came here. Oh yeah, that's right. We're rebuilding the agency. Everyone here used to worship the sect, and now no one does. Why? Yeah, that's right. All the buildings were torn down. We actually looted some of the materials. <laughs> Perhaps we can build something. Yep. All right. Mount South is available to us now. So. So Mount South is our first agency location. Uh, agencies are great. We can uh, get resources out of them, and then actually people can go there and uh, worship our sect, uh, which will empower our cultivators to do even greater and more epic things. So we're going to get rid of someone, basically, is what's going to happen here, which is fine. We have plenty of people. Uh, we kind of want someone with high charisma because they're going to be talking with people a lot. Um, high charisma and social. 
those are good things to have. I don't think we really have any good people, to be honest. Uh, Wu Li is decent, but we want him to uh, stick around here because he's good. So I think we'll do. Uh, I think we'll do Sean here. She's not really uh, aiding the sect a lot. Um, I mean, she's doing an okay job, but she's got decent social, decent charisma. So we'll send her over here. And now we get to uh, name our shrine here. Uh, let's see. What would the what would the main place be? The Taiyi Sanctum, the Taiyi Sanctuary, hmm. the Taiyi Temple. Uh, Sean is about to be the agent. Uh, do we give them spirit stones? Uh, we don't have any to give, so yeah, none. We are broke. We have 60 spirit bucks to our name. So let's deal with that rabbit as well. I uh, kind of don't like how close these things are either, so we'll probably pull off that stuff soon too. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to mine some more stuff, but yeah, our people are pretty busy right now, so we'll just let them let them go for a bit. So the doggo is attacking Wu Li. Uh, we don't really want to do that. Stop doing that. The plants in the field look useful. Should I fertilize them? Yeah, that's good. Uh, so telling them to telling the dog to stop attacking the uh, mortals is good. <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> that helps his bless rating a little bit. Go ahead and do it, doggo. Uh, this is actually really nice for us. They're gonna um, pause the game. He's gonna go ahead and uh, fertilize the field, and we'll be able to instantly harvest this cotton. So that allows us to make a little bit more a uh, little bit more stuff. So, uh, Beast Vicious Fang since Chi and broke through. Um, so basically someone or some creature has uh, gained the ability to start uh, core shaping, it looks like. He's a core, a core shaping creature. So we definitely want to stay away from that. It's got 29,000 max Chi right now. So, uh, yeah, we're just not going down here at all. Those things are uh, pretty hostile. So I, I, that's why I wanted to pause the game and click on that before this, this pop-up went away. So I know exactly where he is, at least for now. We're going to stay away from this corner. I think uh, every game there's one of these guys on the map. So you do want to be a little bit careful exploring like the outer edges. Artifact at Mount Full Moon uh, has been taken away. That's all good. Uh, watering. Yep. And as you can see here, it, all the plants got instantly marked for uh, for harvesting. Perfect. And uh, the nice thing about these plants is too, uh, once they're done with the growth stage, then they just go, they just get reset on the maturity portion. So the next harvest will come much faster than this first one did. So, uh, we still need more spirit wood. I think we have a lot. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, so they're still busy. <laughs> I'm going a bit too fast for them. So, I'm going to speed up the game. Doggo's uh, having some fun. A yell guy wants some protection again. Ella. Electricity? <laughs> Elect <laughs> what? <laughs> I've never seen that before. What the heck? This is, uh... It's, uh, a pun? <laughs> Electricity? <laughs> um... <laughs> that's weird. I've never seen, uh... I've never seen a creature without Chinese names on it. This is vanilla, by the way. I I'm not playing any mods. 
and uh, the bull's name is Ella Tricity. <laughs> All right. No, we're still in ancient China. We don't know what you are right now, so you can leave. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I've never seen that. There's always something new to find in this game. I think I've probably put like five or six hundred hours into it, and every time I play, there's always something that I'm just like, what? What is that? Uh, yeah, you'd never attack buildings. We don't attack outer disciples. You're doing good. Uh, he wants to eat a pear? Sure. Go for it. Pears are good. Some more pairs actually. I think it goes. Uh, it is summer right now, so we should probably harvest a bit of this stuff. Uh, it doesn't keep very long, but that's why we're going to make some cold storage here in a bit. So. Alright. I kind of do want this area cleared out. The Awakened Beast is gone. That's fine. So Zhang is almost on our way back. We'll probably have her cultivate a bit more. Try to get her up to core shaping. Um, yeah, and we get to see if we're allowed to get this mandate. That would be a huge boost to us if we gain an additional law. Um, it might not happen. Uh, Shikian is missing some stats in certain areas, but uh, here's hoping. Um, those events are pretty rare, so. Why are you hurt? Oh, heat stroke. Yeah, that's fair. It's hot out here. It's 30 degrees Celsius now. There's no nourishment for practicing protection. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what you need for that. Clearly not these simple meals. It's probably like what, like maybe wheat or something. Uh, lotus is good stuff, I know. Amber fruit. Let's harvest all this lotus. Excellent. So this uh, this chi array is pretty much done. Just got one more to place, and it's yep happening soonish right now. Yep, right now. So Shang is gone now. Uh, so she was the one in the last room here. So we're gonna demolish all of that as well. Uh, pull up all these four boards. Oh, there we go. And then we're going to make a new table. More uh, located up here. So we'll clear out uh, the grass and stuff. And then we should probably move our storage. This is going to make them pretty, pretty busy. <laughs> so I'll put it right there for now. I think we're going to have, let's see, what did I decide? I think we're going to do a kitchen right up here. Cold storage will be right here, and then maybe we'll put regular storage like right here for now. I'm not a whole, f I'm not, I'm not a fan of this, uh, of this area that we got here. It's kind of, kind of small. You know, this, this area for the sect might have been better in the long run. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. So 
these are these are pets actually of ours that came into the map, but we don't really need them right now, so they're gonna they're gonna offer themselves to us. Doggo's hesitating again. Defecate in storehouses? No, don't do that. Uh, instead, we can build for the pet uh, the defecation spot. So he'll go right, uh, right uh, down here. Okay. Yeah, actually, now that I look at this map a little bit more, maybe it would have been better to just, uh, you know, stay to this area. I might split up the dorms. I think I might. Uh, I might. I think. I think. I think I might put a new dorm right here. Let's, we'll see. This yellow fabric sect uniform should be good to grind one's teeth on. No, don't do that. So uh, since we're telling him not to just attack random things, uh, so now he's not bl uh, cursed anymore. So that's good. We would want to get him into the blessed spot. I wonder how we can tell him. Because blessed will probably add to protection, I would imagine. The opposite of the cursed. So, it could be that helping to move items is actually beneficial for him uh -huh, on the blessed point. So, maybe we'll, maybe we'll let him do that. And then another trick to train the doggo faster, when he's in this waiting pattern, he's trying to do something that you've already told him either not to do or he can't do. Um, so you can interrupt it, and he'll choose something else. So right there is the I wouldn't help organize items. Let's change that. Uh, so now he's playing, so he's getting his uh, leisure up. And uh, he's hesitating on something now. Often defecate in a field. No, don't do that. Yeah, so look at that. Now he's down to negative 28. Yeah. You're supposed to go on your spot, you know? Come on, doggo. Okay, so now he's hauling items. So let's see. Traces of an old friend. Recently, nearby villagers said that there's a strange man with extremely long arms that appeared in Mount Coppertoon who runs very fast and climbs mountains with ease. Sounds like the old seventh disciple, who is obsessed with formations. Uh, did he survive the catastrophe too? Maybe we should go check it out. Yeah, maybe we should. You know what, we'll, we'll have Zhang do that right now. She's not doing anything important. Uh, go for it. Actually, I think what happens with this one is we have to visit the map afterwards to loot him. Kind of, Kind of ruining the game here for you right now. <laughs> let's let's go camp. <laughs> we'll see. All right, Chikyan came here and found traces of many incidents, so I decided to focus on managing one of them. Here we go. Ah, uh, man. So we could take him by force. That's not a good idea. This is the Jade Purity Immortal Law can't remember what that one needs let's see except teachings we got it yes this is a huge win uh okay great so uh we found that the teaching were extremely in sync with one's own and we benefited from it we gained a new law that's perfect usually uh this is a struggle in the game to get all of the remaining laws we did start with the myriad artifact law so now we have the jade purity and there's still three more that you could find in these events only. I think that's the only way to get them. Uh, there might be other ways. Um, maybe like Kunlun competition or something like that. But this is a huge win, especially since it's so early in the game for us. Uh, wow, yeah, her luck wasn't that high, I don't think, was it? Must have been close enough. Her, her int, that's... I know her int is max, so that's probably what got us there. And her per perception was good, too. So we got very lucky. Um, excellent. So, so that was definitely well worth the, the trek. And uh, now we can actually enter this, this area. Shikyan. 
I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking with people because Shikion is really bad at that. But uh, if you click on some stuff here, you can actually like collect a sample. And uh, we'll actually be able to take this back to the sect and we can start building with it. Used a method to collect the samples and we have unlocked the tree now. There's also some random loot down here too. Uh, you can take the random stuff in like old boxes and decompose bodies, but if you see some like rare treasure in these sect areas, don't take it. <laughs> it belongs to the sect. So this random brownstone that we found in a box or a weapon that we find on a body, all that stuff is fair game, but if you see like a, a spirit root or <laughs> some like magic pills or so, you know something just laying around, don't take it. They will get very upset, and they will obliterate you. Oh, man, that's nice. Spirit Stone Subduer Pagoda. So we'll just loot what we can on the map. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, or, or, or no, is that... Let's see, we search the corpse. Iron Spirit. Uh... The time that passes on this map actually doesn't pass. Uh, so it is instant. Um, so the time ticking up here doesn't really change anything. But the time inside this map will influence what the people are doing. So if it's nighttime, your outer disciples are going to be sleeping, for instance. Okay. So she got some wood. That's useful stuff for us. So not a, not a complete waste of time to, to loot these. Uh, there's yet another box. The one thing I'm really interested in here is they have a special uh, a special kind of seat called a... Uh, it's called the Altar of Magic. Um, I just remember Kunlun being good for that. And actually, I like their Sect Gate, too, I'm pretty sure. So let's see. Um... harder to navigate through this this brush okay. okay there we go so ever ice pillar that's cool we'll learn how to make that and then yeah there's their gate that's a cool gate ever ice pillar so we'll observe that as well uh the only other thing to be careful about here too is uh one of these options will be to take uh and yet again if you see anything in a sect just don't take it uh, I think it's this, yeah. So as you can see here, it says take, and <laughs> do not, do not take from their, their holy artifact or whatever it is. I don't know what these things are, but um, it is said to have to have embodied secrets regarding the ways of the creation of heaven and earth. Yeah, so they'll get pretty upset if you try to, you know, just take that back to base. Uh, all of these people are cultivators, way stronger than you are, and they will all attack you. They might even form a formation to kill you. So, let's see. Um, I feel like there was something else. Oh, yeah, the yeah, that's what it is right there, I think. Yep, the Altar of Magic. These things are cool. Um, so, if you mouse over, you can see Gather Chi 600 range too so whoever's sitting on that is absorbing a lot of chi uh, without needing a whole lot of other materials so really nice early on since we're not going to have a whole lot of stuff you know uh, to gather chi into a certain spot um, the spirit wood is pretty much the easy thing to get and everything else is gonna take a bit of time so We'll, um, we're good with that for now. Um, so you don't have to choose every every altar of magic. Once you know one of them, you're good. This is a spirit wood one. This is an ice essence one. You can build them all as soon as you get one. Spirit stone. Yeah, these are just regular crafting tables. Chi cushions are better versions of the cushion that I have at uh, at our base already. 
Alright, I'm not gonna talk to any of these people right now. I'll just deal with that later when it's a lot easier. We'll just leave the uh, sect for now. Do one uh, quick search for any boxes we can take, but eh, I think we got enough stuff. hurt. Yeah, we're still suffering from heat stroke. Is this room colder now? This room is 19 degrees, uh, and it's 26 out. 19 is fine. So, uh, when they go to sleep, uh, they will resolve their heat stroke. Just have to wait for the next day, I guess. Um, this guy is already suffering from heat stroke, though. It's the early morning, so he might have some problems. All right, so that's done. Uh, we can start building a second one here. The only thing that I don't know is I I've always set up multiple arrays around a single tree. I don't know if that is a problem or not. I don't think it is. I try not to look into too much on how the game works. I just you know do a little bit here and there. Definitely don't want any spoilers or anything like that, so. Put another cushion down. Good stuff. So we'll get a second array up and running. Uh, Wooly was under attack, but whatever it was, he destroyed it. And here we have our Taiyi Temple set up now. So if we go into World, and click on the temple. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, Sean running it. And we can choose the policy. The policy is basically just what you want to spend in order to uh, run the agency. So we can do no policy for now. Um, and our population of followers will decrease every day because of that. Uh, region will lose 5% followers every day. So we want to fix that immediately. We want to use charity. Uh, which costs 20 wheat, but we'll also get events occasionally that will, you know, net us more followers, appeal, or influence. Uh, luckily, we can actually set up fields in this area, so we can actually uh, make them self, some of them at least self sustaining. So we're going to make some fields, uh, more fields. And uh, I still am allowed to build one thing. I can do either wood or brownstone, I think. Hmm. I think I'm going to do wood for now. All right. We will want to get some source of brownstone, too. You use uh, the wood and brownstone in order to... Um, increase the power of your, your main hall here. So as you can see here, we need a lot of it. We also need influence too. Um, we're getting 10 a day from this area, so um, it'll take 50 days just to get enough influence for that. Uh, luckily though, actually pretty much every major city uh, and any of these flag outposts are places where we can assign new agencies, and we only need a hundred to get new ones running. And so it becomes like an investment type thing where, you know, you build up enough influence and materials to set up a new, um, you know, uh, farming land or whatever, and then you know, you start uh, farming there as well, and uh, it'll it'll start going faster. Uh, for right now, uh, that's good though. Mount South will start building farmlands. It'll actually produce more than it needs, so we'll actually collect probably some uh, wheat for our uh, for for us, uh, so we can actually withdraw some of the wheat if it's if there's excess. It would be interesting to defecate on a bed. Yeah, maybe, but uh, let's let's not let's not do that. Recently, an immortal was traveling in the area, and they decided to pay us a visit. Okay. 
Okay, so that's kind of a problem. Um, this lady is Meng Mengkian from the Blue Lotus Temple. So I always try to check the visitors there. If we don't do a good enough job, um, you know, making sure that they are uh, satisfied with their stay, then uh, that will actually reflect poorly on our sect and the Blue Lotus, Lotus Temple will actually not like us. Um, so that's a problem. So I'm going to give her a bed. Um, uh, basically treat her like one of our own uh, temporarily here. And actually on these displays, we're actually going to put spirit wood down to give them some chi around their bed. Uh, what type of uh, element is she? She's water. So actually, instead of putting that thing down here, we're going to give her, you know, just temporarily, not, not permanent. Uh, we're going to give her the, where is it? Okay, so uh, this is a good time to use the search function up here. If you click in here, uh, you can actually look for stuff. So I'm going to type in Lumina. Uh-oh. Lumina core is missing. Hmm. I wonder if that guy got up and, uh, you know, that guy might have lived actually, and he took our Lumina core maybe when I wasn't watching. Well, that sucks. All right. <laughs> How did I miss that? Yeah, we don't have a Lumina core anymore. I guess he lived. I think he was in the dying state, but maybe he uh, he did live. So I guess we'll just have to finish people off going forward. It's my mistake, I think. That's sad. Lumina cores are kind of rare. So I was going to give her some of that. Uh, we definitely can't give her earth stuff because that will destroy her. Um, this doesn't gather chi, but maybe it'll make her a little bit happier. Well, we'll see. The Lumina Core would have been perfect. Uh, I think it's the only metal item that gathers chi that we have, or we had. All right. Strange gloomy mood. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, it's kind of a bad day to lose a, a Lumina core, you know? I didn't place it somewhere, did I? No, it would have, it would show up in search as well if I placed it. So it got stolen. That's not the worst. It could have been uh, something more useful. Um, not too bad. Doggo's sleeping. We can give him a uh, spot to sleep, actually. We're going to make it out of spirit stone block. Where, where did I put the... Um, I put the defecation spot. I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. So we do need some more spirit stone blocks. I think we're gonna go visit the Taiyi sect again because there is something rare that there that we want to collect from that spirit stone pagoda uh, that was mentioned in the story.
Uh, for now, Zhang is finishing up her adventure. Uh, we should get a report on that here shortly. Then we'll enter the map afterwards because I think we, I think we do have to visit the seventh master. might not be enough herbs for us. Let's uh, say normally you can just find some around here, but uh, I'm not really seeing any. Usually they grow in the wild, but uh, I'm not seeing any, so uh, we're just going to plant some of our own. If we have uh, more than we need, that's fine. We can always sell it or deal with it later. So we came here, uh, secrets, traces of an old friend. Use perception to discover the odd person is in an abandoned mine. It was the seventh martial bro brother, Freedom. Uh, we intended to greet him. However, he became paralyzed with fear and scurried away as soon as, we, as, soon as he recovered from the shock. Uh, looks like he lost his mind. Uh, we were filled with shock and sorrow. However, the seventh master has already disappeared deep within Mount Coppertoon. Uh, by exploring Mount Copper Tim, we may find traces of the Seventh Master. So, yep. So, we're going to do that right now. We'll enter the map with Shong. Some stuff to find here, too. Um, actually, a, a good good thing to do, uh, now that we have the dog as well, is we can summon him, actually, in these maps. And uh, remember, he has, uh, he actually is, he's actually up to 27,000 Chi now. Uh, so he's way, uh, way more sturdy. Uh, he's, he's way tankier as well. Uh, so we'll have him explore, because if we run into, like, a demon beast or something, we'll be ready to, uh, to deal with it then. Uh, the enemy demon beast will be hard pressed to have uh, to, to outlast the doggo, you know. So let's see, just kind of exploring around. Okay, so there's the first room with a animal beast. Its name is Jin Three. Uh, yeah, and it only has 882 chi. So we'll just attack it, and then we'll tell Zhang as well to attack and help, just to make it go faster. Speed up the game a little bit. It is a core-shaping uh, frog, but frogs are kind of bad. Um, they might have some kind of use. I think all of the creatures are good at something in particular. But the frog, uh, I don't know, it's just always seemed to be kind of lackluster. It's probably just because I don't know what it's good at, to be honest. So we're going to speed up the game even further. We're pretty weak right now. There we go. So it's already in the dying state, so we can butcher it. Let the doggo export. And we can get some good demon beast tide and beast blood out of it. There's also a 226 stack of iron ore here, so we'll take that. There's a 220 there, but we can only hold six things at a time, so we're still not done exploring. Maybe we'll find something else nice. Um, what is that? A recent corpse. Uh, so this is the seventh master, so it looks like he might have died. Looks like he was in quite a lot of pain when he passed, yep. Uh, search the corpse, uh, search the body and found two manuals. Ooh boy, at least he held on to those. Collect both of those. Excellent. So now we only have one, um... We can 
I'm gonna hold one more thing. Okay. So that's more iron ore. That's 177, but we had the. Uh, this is 220, so let's just take that and leave. That's a pretty good haul. Right? Because that's, yeah, 92. That's good enough. This is the actual village, it looks like itself, but uh, we're not really concerned with the peasants yet. Uh, actually, no, maybe we are. Let's see. Some of them might be good cultivator material. C, U, U, E. Not really that good. Let's see. Yeah, some of these people might be good. kind of explore the whole area and then we'll look at each of them one at a time okay yeah that's right it's a small village we have a talisman just sitting there i have a good talisman sitting there okay uh see you lu okay uh so what i'm my eyes are kind of just instantly glancing over to uh battle and cheese sense magic as well just to see these are the main uh, skills for cultivators um, the stats also are, are pretty important too but that's what I'm kind of looking for we also could use people that are really good at social and charisma like I mentioned before to run our agencies um, so those are the main things we're looking for we could also potentially find an additional crafter uh, we do have uh, Wu Ling but he's kind of like our farmer and battler as well so it'd be nice if we could get like a dedicated crafter. Uh, crafters like to have the artisanry skill, uh, crafting of course skill. Uh, artisanry is like your quality and crafting is your just raw ability. Uh, so that's speed and quality as well. And then the crafters also use uh, perception. And you also don't really want things like carelessness <laughs> for your crafter, uh, cause they'll just mess stuff up all the time. So that's kind of the kind of the things that we're looking out for. This guy doesn't have really good stats at all. His potential is not even four. Uh, yeah, terrible. Uh, okay, this is the first decent person, but she's a pessimist. She's careless. She's withdrawn. Um, and her stats aren't really that good either. So, uh, it looks like I don't see anything around here that's interesting. So. We'll leave. We got what we came for, to be honest. Some more stuff to put into our uh, epic library down here. Okay, we found a marble blade. Excellent. Uh, so, the, oh, so the doggo is accompanying this person. The five elements are restraining each other. Okay. Yeah, it's because it's an earth room and the earth is just destroying her. So I guess we should make... Um, you know what, let's make a guest room. Guest rooms are made out of spirit stone blocks. That way, uh, spirit stone blocks are nice because they're neutral, so everyone will equally think that they're good and it won't mess around with anyone's chi. It won't support anyone's chi either, but that's fine. So we'll make just literally everything out of spirit stone. It'll also be, uh, as you can see here, the attractiveness of these things is magnificent. So uh, it's a bit of cost associated with this, but that's fine. We can use it for a long time. Uh, furniture, decorating, decoration shelf. Yeah. Okay. And then let's add a lantern out here just to make it the same as the others. And then um, we need to make spirit stone blocks. Uh, and then we will literally have 10 spirit bucks to our name after we do all that. That's fine. 
This is auspicious. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything around it yet. That's fine. We've got uh, more pressing concerns. Demolish the floorboards. Ruling needs a tool. Due to insufficient resources, the Mount South policy has been canceled. I'll just set it again. Uh, we did lose a few hundred people, but not anything we can do about it. Uh, I think in one more day, these fields should start producing stuff, so it might cancel one more time, but then uh, we'll probably have like, what, four, maybe a little bit less than 14,000 people working for us, so, or believing us. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Alright. Sleeping time. Doggo's still awake, though. He wants to eat a spoiled meal. Uh, we do want him to eat cooked food. I don't know about the spoiled meal, though. So you can see in here as well, too, what the nutrition will do for you. Uh, after they eat it, of course. So let's see. Dog was munching on it. Uh, hmm. Okay, maybe it doesn't refresh. Okay, yeah, so spoiled meal. It gives nutrition, but it doesn't add any muscle or fat. So, uh... Uh, a group of Yaogai cultivators is attacking us. Doggo. Uh, and this time, if you right-click uh, this icon right here, it'll put the little blood stains on here. And this is what what this means is that they're in kill mode. So uh, the doggo, I think, will remain in kill mode when you set that. And uh, when they go to attack, uh, they will actually just completely kill kill the target so they're not, they're a corpse now um i want to defecate on the spot i want to defecate in where i'm supposed to yeah that's 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 right yep go for it so and now uh if we just kill people outright like that then we don't have to worry about anyone coming in and you know taking our lumina core which must have happened while i wasn't looking Dim lighter treasure has been seen. Doggo's, uh, yep, going to do that. Uh, we'll set the doggo uh, spot to low priority. We need to get her out of this room ASAP. And then who is our most charism charismatic person? Probably her, to be honest. We don't really have anyone that's with <laughs> that's good on charisma. Well, Wu Ling's decent. All right. So Wu Ling, you can go talk with them. Hmm? Oh wait, is he a, is he? He? Oh no, I just missed it. Okay, he's asleep right now, but he'll get to it when he wakes up. Tiger. starting to think maybe we should build some more wheat fields too. Uh, maybe cotton as well. So we'll chat. Uh, this is another way to improve their fa when you improve uh, their favor to your sect um, that will also re reflect more positively for the visit too so Some news about favorites of Yue King Cho. That's the the person we're interested in, actually. So yeah, what do you know? She loves turtle meat. Okay. Okay. That's all you know. So uh, what do you like? Okay. You don't want to tell me? Surely you do. Yep. Okay. Love cotton. Okay. So she actually loves cotton. So if we can um, if we can make one piece of cotton, we can give it to her. Uh, or a winter shirt. Um, okay. So you can always chat back up to 30 favor. And then just spam this. So she loves goldwood timber. Uh, we could make that, actually. Let's do that. 
uh, and wolf hide. Actually, we might be able to give her all of this stuff, to be honest. Manifesting cave. Uh, inside of it's burning with fire, 500 degrees Celsius. Yeah, we won't mess around with that. So I'll make some goldwood timber. And then I think I have to have it on me. So do we have any cotton? I think she wanted wolf hide too. So Wooly has to equip it. I don't think I've seen a wolf on this map. Hmm. No, I guess we, we don't have any wolves around here, so we'll have to skip that. Do we have a winter shirt? Oh, wait. Oh, I guess we did kill a wolf a while ago. There we go. Equip that. And uh, let's see. I don't think we have a winter shirt. We could make one. Do we have any cotton laying around? Yes, we do. Okay, so Wooly can equip that stuff as well. Then maybe we do make a winter shirt. Uh, well, uh, let's see what these two things do. Winter shirt's a little bit more costly. All right. Too hot to sleep. So I think the, um, did we make the metal, the ice metal bars too? Oh no, we haven't yet. Let's, uh, let's just make a couple of those. The mortal cave at Mount Tiger Paw has appeared. Yeah, that's okay. Zhang Peng Lan is coming in to drop off stuff. The confused stranger lost their way. Tuoba. Um. She's she she's young. That's why her potential is so high. But uh, her stats aren't really. Uh, she's a decent person all around. Uh, so what we can do is we can actually send her to the um, the agency to to be a sub disciple. So we'll do that, and uh, what she'll do is she'll um, she'll add her abilities to the set uh, to the um, to the person running the show there, Sean, and make her better at running the agency. So uh, we have these manuals now. John can store them. Uh, Tuoba says she's removing the floorboards, but, uh, no, we're just going to have her. So in here you have a list of 10 extra disciples you can have. We'll just send her right away. Uh, when you do this, by the way, they're gone permanently. Uh, and you can replace them later on with new disciples if you get better ones. But a portion of her stats, yeah, so it says the agent stats are combined with 10% of the disciples. So it'll improve her a little bit. It doesn't really matter right now. We don't have to min-max it or anything, uh, but uh, we will later on to get uh, to make the uh, agencies more efficient. Yeah, it posts a little bit better. All right, so Wooly, do you have all the stuff? You do. So go ahead and talk to her again. We'll do what we can. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, getting her up to 60 favor or whatever is going to be good enough. Because I can't, I don't think I can do anything else to help improve her mood. Oh, okay. So all I needed was the cotton. All right. 
so that's it then. You can drop the wolf hide. Doggo is hesitating. Uh, search enemies. Um, yeah, go for it. Your bless is uh, getting better as we speak. Uh, there's a fire. Ah, it's because this beast blood here is a fire medicine, and it's very powerful. Um, as you can see here, it says it still feels boiling hot. Uh, so in the lower right-hand corner, you can see the temperature on this spot is 124 degrees Celsius. <laughs> so we're going to build a display. Um, we want to put it where nothing else is. Let's put it, uh, let's put it right down here. Actually, because we're going to get a lot of this beast blood as, as, as time goes on. So maybe what we do instead is build an area, storage area. So this is right next to the ice. We'll, we'll, we'll be removing this ice soon anyway, but uh, for now, let's do fire element stuff of... Uh, decent quality on up, or decent tier on up. And it can be anything. Yeah, that's fine. We'll set it for available for sale as well. And uh, we'll name it um, Danger Fire. Okay, so the, at the Taiyi Temple, we just completed all of our... Um, the two farmlands and the logging camp. So now, as you can see here, our daily yield is 15 wood, 40 wheat. And um, we could actually do manual labor instead of charity now, but that costs 20 influence and we're only making 10. So I'd rather spend the wheat. Uh, so we're getting 20 wheat. I think if you come over here to the power section, yeah. It'll show the daily cost, and, and it'll summarize everything. So if we add, like, a city here, um, and if we also set charity on that, it will use a total a daily cost total of 40. So it'll net out. So we just won't get any wheat from any places, but um, everything will remain running. That's kind of what we're looking to do. So early on, you kind of want to stick to, for the most part at least, you, you want to prioritize the outposts that, with a flag. Because, as you can see here, you can produce wood and wheat a little bit, brownstone, um, wheat plenty. We'll probably go and get that first, maybe. Uh, and then the city, though, doesn't produce anything, but you can do... Uh, you, can, you can take on other tasks inside cities. But for now, we just need to get kind of like our resources going, you know? Get enough wheat, get enough uh, wood, uh, brownstone, so that we can build everything else up. So uh, we stored uh, the intro to formations. That gives us a bunch of different formation stuff. Uh, I've, I've messed with that like one time total, I think. This still has the store icon on it. So it's not done yet. Uh, oh, it's because Zhang is sleeping. So that's fine. I'm going to speed up the game a bit. Um... So, okay, so now the Beast Blood is setting all of our stuff on fire. So, I, I guess just, uh, let's just, uh, let's just keep fire stuff down here for now. Sort. Hurry up, please. <laughs> it's gonna set our whole base on fire. Oh, man. This is getting outrageous. Someone actually got burned while setting out the fire. All right, good. They moved the uh, beast blood as well. And uh, igneo copper ore, too. And bars. Uh, the reason why I chose this spot, in addition to the ice crystal ore being here, making it colder, um, this is all rocky terrain, as you can see in the lower-hand corner. This doesn't set on fire, no matter what. There's nothing to burn. so Or uh, it might set things on fire, but... They'd have to be right next to it, so. The fire won't spread or anything. 
All right, crisis averted. So we do have uh, 10 spirit wood. Uh, oh yeah, the stuff is still being built. So yeah, our, our disciples are kind of busy. We did tell them to plant stuff and whatnot. So we may end up, <laughs> funny enough, we may end up moving everything back over here. Because this is actually more room than I thought. I try to avoid uh, building near the edge because things spawn here, and we don't really want our outer disciples to be close to that, but I think we'll end up just moving everything back over here. Hmm. That's, if, I, if I'm up here, I'm going to be up against this water. Well, I guess this is fine, too. I don't know. Nothing really stands out to me as like a good good spot. So, let's see. Do we have uh, the ice crystal bars are still being made? Yeah, they can't catch up to it. Dog was eating a pear and hauling things. So, Doggo is starting to get some nutrition. Uh, I can't see exactly what he needs to eat right now in order to get these different things. I think you need to plant... Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to plant um, the various herbs. Um, so that's right. We only have... And we have this tiny section of spirit soil. Hmm. It'll have to do. So... Let's uh, ration it out a little bit here. I'm making separate ones, by the way, so. This isn't, uh, <laughs> this isn't a whole lot of room, uh, but it, it, it'll work for now. We'll get some stuff growing here. So I think uh, we want a lot of ginseng and lingji, maybe a bit of, uh, let's see, I think purity leaf. Spirit leaf. Yeah, I think we need... Purity leaf is more important, I think. We can eat that stuff to improve our mental state temporarily, so that's good stuff. Spirit leaf, I think, is just for pills, so we don't really need a whole ton of it. We, we would definitely like a lot more than what we're planting here, but it grows really good in spirit soil. I could build... I think you can use fertile soil, but it's not that good. So, uh, why not? Let's... Uh, Let's add in another area up here, too, for uh, more stuff. We do want, we do want a lot of, I, I know we do want a lot of this stuff, at, at least early, probably, probably later on, too. Um, ginseng and Lingji, and then we'll build some, uh, let's see, our stuff's going to be right there, so... Actually, we'll do Spirit Leaf on that one, and then Purity Leaf on that one. <sighs> Alright, so our farmers are going to be busy. Uh, you know what? Uh, she's uh, 7 in farming. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Uh, she could help 10. It's not too bad. We could do better than that, though, for sure. This guy's a 34. I mean, you know. We need more people like Wu Li running around here. 
Uh, all these other guys need to go, to be honest. So, um, so we'll just have to keep an eye out for, for good people while we're traveling around. Zhang uh, still has to store... Okay, she did store that, so she can smelt that now. That's a bunch of different auxiliaries for the pillar. Uh, I know the basics of formations. I've built some a long time ago. Maybe like a year or two ago. Um, but uh, it's, that's kind of a later thing. Time to show Inner Disciple... Occasionally attack Inner Disciples. No, don't do that. Okay, so Blessing is... Improving. Immortal Cave at Great Desert has already appeared. I don't really know how to improve. Yeah, so the pet's degree of good reveal training styles applied on different pet behaviors will directly affect its blessed and cursed tendency. But I don't get to see exactly what that, what each of these things does. You just kind of have to figure it out. Um, So, uh, I don't know why that's set to occasionally. We do want that to happen more often. And actually, we don't really need tra uh, moving around, but I think if they move stuff, I think that improves the bless as well. We'll see. Uh, that tiger needs to die. It's too close to our herb gardens or people are going to be running around there it was a very clear and bright day but you don't know how long it will last you can always see up here too what that that looks like for the weather um, and you can right click all this stuff too to get uh, information as well uh, it, it'll be filled with just comments from other random people, so uh, some of it's useful, some of it's not, just like an online forum. Uh, nobody to steal from, uh, that's fine. Um, so yeah, so uh, irrigate, uh, we definitely, definitely do that. Looks like he did it, we already have more uh, cotton again. Wouldn't attack outer disciples, that's right. Negative 12% still. Haul. Hauling doesn't seem to change anything. Uh, Zhang is just watching the sky. Uh, her mood is now okay. It's a bit hot. Is there any place that we can go explore? Uh, yeah, no. That's 500 degrees Celsius required. Uh, an artifact. Uh, we could do the disturbance, but I think I'd rather just have her train, I think, at this point. Let's have her do that. So this should be a, a good good spot for her now. It's actually not a whole lot. Okay, Mengqian received a adequate treatment. I think that's good enough. Good, yep, favor increased by 14 points. Excellent. It's a good way to get your favor up with the other sex. Um, mostly I just didn't want it to go negative because then they won't let us they won't let us in their area if they uh, dislike us even a little bit. So It's kind of not actually that fast. I think it, it might be because uh, Zhang actually isn't a good match for her law. That's part of it, I guess. Um, she's still just kind of weak, too. So. Another thing that we could do is we can transcribe the, uh, the laws that we have. Uh, we did one already. We could uh, keep going. 
we might have her do that here in a bit. Let's, uh, instead, um, let's get her up to core shaping. So right now we're on the man-made fire stage, uh, which is about creating your spark and then the fire outside of it. And then earth fire is about um, improving, or making your body basically a bellows <laughs> for the fire, and then reaching the earth fire stage. That will push you into the golden core, but we don't want to do that right now. We might do it, um... Let's see. So the season is actually passing for her, but we might just have to do it. Um, w one of the traps, like I said, that you can run into in this game is that you wait just too long to get your first golden cores running. But... Because you can actually improve your golden core in a lot of different ways. So people just kind of wait and, and build up and keep building and building and building for years uh, to make good uh, cultivators. But early on, you really just need people with, you know, higher degrees of power so you can handle, you know, you can defend the sect against dangerous things. Um, uh, you can also go out and explore and collect a lot of useful items with higher, uh, higher tier cultivators too, so... And really, you're not going to be able to make anything too crazy good. I mean, Zhang is, even though she's our main character, she's pretty lackluster, to be honest. Like, she's okay, you know? Uh, people get a lot better, way stronger than what she is. So we're not too concerned with making her um, making her a beast. So Xiao Ming uh, got a burn scar, actually, now. Heat stroke. So these ice crystal ores aren't doing a whole lot of good. Oh, we never actually finished that room in time. That's fine. Uh, we don't have anyone prioritized on smithing, so that's why it's not getting done. We'll set that to Wooly. These crystal bars. So let's see. I think if we use these instead, it'll work better. Make things cooler. It's 26 degrees in here. It's 29 outside. So these these two are barely doing anything, to be honest. Uh, I think the bars are more potent. And yeah, see, they're starting to slack now because it's just too hot. Um, when we get better clothing, like, we'll start crafting clothing out of that demon beast hide that we picked up earlier. And I'll kind of make most of this regular weather, like, irrelevant, you know. Um, it'll just have such great resistance to the temp you know, to the elements that, you know, they won't really care about stuff. Um, Yin Yang is poor, but it could be a longer breakthrough, so let's just do it. And it looks like it is a longer kind of one. So it should be, it should finish just in time for daytime, so that'll be good. So yin yang, uh, fire and wood count as yang, and they're best in the daytime. And uh, metal and water count as yin, so they have a bonus effect at night. Uh, yin is like the emptiness, yang is like the fullness. If you don't know anything about Taoism, uh, none of this will make any sense to you, and you'll just have to look it up. But uh, since she's a fire cultivator, wood is definitely more prominent uh, at the daytime. I think it, it reaches its maximum at noon, but uh, it starts getting really good at 6 a.m., I think. So we'll see how that works. Uh, so I want to defecate on a plant. No. Nope. You have a spot for that, and I think that would probably reduce or improve your... Um, Bless. Yeah, negative 4% now. Alright, we're almost positive. I don't know how to improve that going forward, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, you're not going to defecate on a plant. What do you want to do now? Nobody to steal from. What do you want to do now? 
print clothing. Okay, now he's gonna go to the bathroom. Nobody to steal from. Person has caught my attention. <laughs> Just following someone around. <laughs> That'd be annoying, right? Okay, now he's following. Uh, okay, so we must have failed then, huh? Oh yeah, it, it was only a four-hour breakthrough. So let's try it again. Oh wait, oh no, no, she never mind. She, I, I, I was, uh, I was just being dumb. She's still breakthroughing. So yeah, it's about to be six a.m. And as you can see here, Yin Yang is starting to become positive. Looks like it'll be timed perfectly. Her breakthrough. Yep, we'll hit as soon as. We have five uh, pips of yin yang at like 6.30 a.m. or something. Location element is wood, so that's maxed. Chi density is perfect because it's just full of wood element power, or wood uh, chi that's being gathered in this single spot. And then boom, she's succeeded. So uh, this is what I was talking about. Like, She just became a core shaper, and look at all these stats that she gained. 10 years of lifespan, 1,200 chi, a bunch of artifact power. Uh, she can resist temperatures better now. I mean, adventure fly speeds so she can move around the map faster too. Just all good stuff. So we don't, we're not going to be too concerned with making like strong cultivators right now. We just need to get stuff done, you know? Core Shaper. Uh, yeah, so she has 2,000 chi now. That's good. And now we can explore the map a little bit faster. I don't see anything that I want to do. Uh, you know, we might go to the Tai Yi sect again and grab something important. So let's go do that. seeing what the doggo is saying to himself. He doesn't have a bed yet. So uh, we'll set Wooly to be a... I think it's crafting to make? Yeah, cutting stone is... Under, at the bottom there it says cutting stone is uh, used by the crafting. So. so now when he's done eating... He will go craft those blocks for us. I'm gonna plant or place the. We're gonna try to build another chi array here. Okay. We're out of spirit wood. I'm gonna remove this for now. So ideally, maybe we would want to make all of our uh, inner disciple buildings out of uh, the spirit stones. That way, we don't have to worry about their element. We don't have to make like weird special rooms for them. Uh, they, they don't do anything important in their uh, bed, I don't think. Maybe having it more auspicious would make uh, it might make things. It might make them collect more experience or something like that. So maybe, maybe we'll make specialized buildings later. So what is this guy? It's a cat, because its name is Meow. It's got a fire essence blade, though. Um, you know what? We'll turn off the kill mode, because um, I don't know if that changes the bless or curse. I really want to get the bless up, and I'm not sure... often butcher animals. Um, no. Uh, you, you definitely don't want to butcher that thing. That's a person. Okay, that didn't change the, uh, the bless curse at all. Okay, 
she's unconscious, so, um... He's gonna search the body. Yeah, he had a nice blade, so... Don't slaughter animals. Taking a rest. That increases his leisure. Uh, how the... What I've learned is that they'll only practice and improve their stats down here if uh, their leisure is high enough. So it is definitely nice to let them just do whatever they're doing to improve their leisure. Doggo needs more types of food sources, though. Um, Yeah, it's going to take this stuff a long time to grow. It's 113% growth rate. But I think if we look down here... Uh, okay, they haven't even started to grow this stuff yet. So, um, that's right. We don't have a dedicated farmer. You're not that good at it, but... Uh, we'll have to do. So, we're, we're definitely in the market for a uh, good farmer. We're going to need that. Let's uh, cut that stuff out. That's a corpse now. Um, let's go to the wheat. And actually, another thing uh, that I forgot to mention that we can do here. Uh, remember how we were netting uh, 20 extra wheat a day? We're, we're using 20, but we're making 40. We can actually set the watch function here, which means that uh, policy events will occur twice as often, but it also costs us twice as much uh, to do the uh, charity event. So, so now if we look at power, we co it costs 40 and we're making 40. So we're not making any wheat anymore, but um, I'll actually claim the wheat that's in there. But uh, we're netting, we're neutral, and actually, we'll have some events here, which will allow us to attract more followers, which is what we're really interested in with these agency spots. Um, the agencies here generate belief based on the number of followers and the city stability. Um, right now, there are seventy-five thousand people here uh, that could potentially be followers. Uh, but we only have 14,000 of them. Um, and as you can see here, we have 8,500 belief. This is actually just raw experience, uh, inspiration that we can take from the area. Uh, and this becomes like, a, like I think, the primary source of inspiration uh, throughout the game. So uh, the higher our appeal, we uh, will gain followers easily, more easily. Uh, hopefully we can increase that uh, via charity, it says. So... That's kind of why I want to do this, at least for now. Uh, we do have the extra wheat. When we set up um, more stuff, we may have to turn that off, but for now it'll be okay. Shikan is almost back from her, uh, like, what, 10 day adventure? At least it was worthwhile. It would have been really sad if we didn't get anything for it. That particular event is very rare, though. And uh, we got paid. Um, another law is very helpful. So they're still placing that. Give him a bit of time to... Uh, yeah, this guy's going to make that stuff. Yeah, I kind of want to rearrange this area too, but we need to give them time to get stuff sorted here. So we'll speed up the game.
So it seems <laughs> it seems maybe like these ice crystal bars are not helping either. Like it's 22 degrees out and it's 20 in here. <laughs> it's definitely more bearable than we uh, than we had earlier, but. Mortal Cave has already appeared. Gongye Wei needs a farming tool. Oh, you don't have one? Surely someone has one, right? No? Zhou Ming. Yeah, Zhou Ming isn't doing any. Yeah, actually, why isn't he the farmer? Oh, because he's the chef. Um. I'll let him do it too, though. In case uh, there's nothing going on. So I guess we do need it. Uh, Wuli, yeah, Wuli's a good farmer too. So I guess we do need a new farming tool as well. Just make a wooden one. Let's uh, set this to higher priority, I think. That will cause them to, to do that work first. Let's see. It might not. Strange lulls. Okay, so this is a mini event that occurs in the game. Uh, we don't have the firecracker. That, so basically it's just a, uh, <laughs> it's like a Christmas elf that appears. And uh, you can't uh, attack them or anything like that, but you can set a firecracker on them. And then they drop loot. Um, uh, sucks that we don't have a... Well, maybe we can get one really quick. Let's see. Uh, no. We, we don't even... We haven't even visited these people. I don't even think we have enough money for it. Um, maybe. Let's visit everyone and give them all off cuts. This is even less useful than a grain of sand. Yeah, I know. Is this the rarest item you can offer? You guys are poor. <laughs> That's true, though. You call us a present? <laughs> These guys, I think, are evil, so they might be a little bit more upset. This thing is a disgrace to our sex reputation. <laughs> You think it's <laughs> don't you think it's offensive to give this stuff? This is like a, a roast me contest. Useless. <laughs> this can be a used to test if the sword is sharp enough. No, uh, probably not. This reminds me of the days where I had no money or food. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Are you for real? Usually I wouldn't take something like this. <laughs> Well, you can't even feed this to a dog. No, that's true. You definitely can't do that. Uh, so, can we... Do any of you guys have a... So we're just looking for... Oh, uh, one of them is still locked, but... We're still looking for a... Firecracker. I, I don't think so. I think the only ones that have it are the uh, Wandering Merchants, which uh, I don't think we've had any yet. Or if we did, we didn't have enough money to buy that kind of stuff. Uh, they're not that expensive, though. That's why I'm trying to find it, but no, yeah. So we can't get it. We'll just have to let that guy go. Just him running around. Got a little present on his back. <laughs> yeah. Weird. I just wander around for a bit and then they'll be gone. Let's 
So uh, Zhang is now at the Taiyi sect. I'm going to collect more building materials. Hopefully that spirit stone block that we saw is now, uh, yeah, 195. That's pretty good. We'll do that. Uh, we could use more marble blocks as well. 227, 237. 241, 243 timber. And uh, we wanted to investigate the Spirit Stone Pagoda. There's a treasure hunt here now. Um, so let's do that. We only have uh, two spots left, but I don't think we need that many. Holds a ceremony at the foot of the pagoda. Something seems to weakly interact with their chi which was once nurtured by the teachings of Taiyi sect. Search. We employ a secret law of the Taiyi sect and discover a strange object that in the hole appears at the base of the pagoda. As the items were retrieved, the hole disappeared. The legacy of Taiyi. Okay. I didn't realize there were bonsai back here. You can't even see them. All right, so that's a pretty rare treasure. We definitely don't want to get that one stolen, so we're going to have to do a good job to uh, make sure we keep an eye on the riffraff, you know? Maybe even build, like, a wall or under storage, uh, storage area or something. So we'll grab another um, stack of 246 marble blocks and head on out. Awesome. in a bad mood. Yeah, people just don't like it here. It's hot. It's filthy. All of that's fair. Might be a good idea to go out and kill spirit beasts to make uh, demon beast clothing for everyone. I'm surprised these ice essence or ice crystal bars don't uh, I guess they do kind of improve the situation a bit like 10 degrees. So uh, at least when they go to sleep, they'll get better, and then they can deal with the hot weather during the day again. It's the most I can do for them right now. It's the most I can do. Uh, let's cancel these, because we have a bunch coming in. We'll keep our spirit stones for now. 50 spirit bucks isn't going to buy us anything, but got to start somewhere. going to defecate the field. Yep. Uh, these rocks look valuable. I often help mine. I think... I think what happens there, if the doggo uh, mines, I think he'll yield less resources than a real miner. I think I've heard. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, we won't let him not mine. He doesn't need to do that anyway. Oh, okay, so that actually reduced his... You know what? You, you, you can mine. Go go for it, Bowie. Good, good doggo. <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead and help. I, th I think you get less stuff, but that's okay. All of this stuff we can find elsewhere, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see farming tools. So we never actually made that. Is he making it right now? Wu Li? Oh, he's asleep. It's 3 p.m. He's uh, taking a nap. All right. Do 
temperature is comfortable now in this room at least. So that's good. Two, 24 degrees. Shikion is finally back. Her mood is zero. We don't have any floorboards. Okay, we need more brownstone off that too. Um, so we need more clothing for her. We do have some fabric. Should be saving this fabric too, though. Um, can we make anything? We only have 15 of the uh, hide. Can we make anything out of that? No, you need 18. I think it's what it says, 18. Yeah, we're short three. Okay. So we kind of do want to kill more of those things. And then uh, she left with 170, I think, days of tribulation, and she still has 170. Even though she was gone for 10 days. Um, yeah, your mood is abysmal. We don't really want to keep you around here because you're not going to do anything anything meaningful for us um maybe we go to mount baron yeah let's do that we could potentially get more cotton might find a bunch of stone essence uh and hopefully kill a demon beast or two so we'll see go ahead and leave shang is almost back uh from her adventure We do need to get more organized around here. Um, it's part of the reason why things are taking so long. So, I think we will uh, first move. So let's make the gaming room, I think, right here. Yeah, I think this will be the gaming area. Goes exercising, that's good. Improving his stats. He doesn't have a whole lot of nutri nutrition. He uh, has some int stuff, but that's about it. We don't have a whole lot of food variety around here. And I can't tell him to eat anything in particular either. Like the wheat, I think, is good to give him some, uh, some fat so he's not too slim. See, there's no nourishment for protecting. There's no use. I don't know what uh, is required for that, though. Hmm. Uh, so we do have our sect meal is simple. So we're making. We should be making that every day. Let's make make a few more. It's almost night, so they might not do that in time. So let's move our table stuff over here. Uh, should you help chop down trees? I guess you would like to do that, right? Because if I, yeah, if I don't, yeah, I guess you'll have to. That's helpful too, though, so let's do that. Returned. We could do this disturbance of the other world now. 
only two and a half days. Hmm. Maybe we just get her to Golden Core while we still have a bit of summer. Uh, it's not the best season for her. Spring is actually the best season for her, but um, like I said, we're not going to be too picky. Just get her to a Golden Core state so she can fight things off a little bit. Uh, this is the really important item that we need to make sure it does not get stolen. Speed up the game. It's sleeping hour anyway. Our outers are busy. Everything's going to plan. Uh, we do so up here. It tracks not only your spirit bucks but also your influence too. Um, and remember, we need a hundred to set up another agency. Probably want to do that though as soon as we can. It'd be nice if we found some more charismatic folks. Uh, and now that we need people, we're not getting any. <laughs> of course. Uh, as soon as I say that though. Uh, Meow Shibaji. Uh, so she is very sociable. So yeah, we will accept her. Um, the cats are really good at social in general. Cats must be nicer in ancient China than they are uh, in real life today, you know. Uh, so, yeah, she can stick around and help around the sect a little bit, and then as soon as we get 50 influence, we're gonna send her along to secure an agency for us. Shikion has arrived, you can see, with the adventure bar when it's full like that. Uh, that means that they're actually there and they're camping. Uh, so they won't leave um, until like a month later or something, like a whole season passes. But um, we're just going to let the first event occur and then we'll enter the map. You don't have to worry about the loot that they find from the first adventure counting against your six max, so. Let's move that over here. Yeah, so it turned out there was stuff to take. Yep, 20 bonus cotton, and now we can enter. As soon as we enter, enter and then leave, um, she starts returning uh, after that, so. It's a good way to kind of, you know, min-max a little bit your traveling time, you know? Okay. These are just the cotton fields. There might be some useful people around here, so we'll take a look around. Uh, I don't know if there are demon beasts around here, so we do want to be a little bit careful. In fact, actually, uh, we'll summon the pet. Oh, okay, this is the edge of the map. Okay. And this is all village, so I guess this is a pretty safe area. They have a pretty nice pickaxe here. We might take that. Ooh, they keep jade. 184 jade. Uh, 39 cotton's not a whole lot, but the jade. That's good stuff. Um, as you can see here, uh, the name of the jade is in green, so that means it's of the tier treasure. Uh, it's tier 4. So it is er an earth element building material, but it's uh, much more valuable because of it, its tier is higher. So it's just a nicer material to use. So we could make some uh, nice furnitures uh, for Earth uh, out of that stuff. Um, 
you know, we might make our inner bedrooms out of that. Like new ones that are better. Okay, they have a bunch of nice pickaxes around here too. We might take those, get rid of our old ones. Um, since they're blue, again, this tier is spirit relic, so those are actually really nice. Um, and the tool quality affects uh, the tool tier, and I think quality maybe um, increases the power, of course, of the item, but then it also improves the efficiency uh, of work, too. So it is actually good later on to make some really nice tools for yourself. We can't afford it uh, right now, but soon we'll be swimming in, in spirit bucks. Yeah, this looks like a, a little cave. I'm going to get the doggo in here. This doesn't look like a, a safe place. This kind of looks pretty sketchy here, too. There's not a... I don't think I see any town stuff up here, so there might be a beast up here, too. Just play it safe. Shikian will just get smacked by these spirit beasts if there are some around here. Yep, there's a rabbit. Rabbits are pretty weak, but it has 2,400 chi, and he's a core shaper against Shi Qian, who has 1,400 and is a key shaper. And we're using, like, this crappy fire offcut, so she's not... She'll probably lose that fight, uh, almost certainly. So we'll let the doggo tank. And then after the tanking uh, begins, then I can send Shi Qian in to fight. We'll speed that up. It's going to take a while. Yeah, we're just so weak. Uh, we're, we're like uh, scratching their back here. This is the 3x speed. You can go um, swift mode, I think. it's It hides the screen and then it goes really fast. So. Okay, now he's dying. So we'll butcher it. I think that I think it took like a day to kill that thing. <laughs> All right, doggo, you can go explore over here while you. We got four beast blood out of that one. And Fifteen more hide. Uh, one hundred eighty-seven stone essence. Yep, that's uh, that's good stuff. Doggo. Oh, yeah, see, there's a bear. Can we even take the bear? Ah, I don't think we can. We just do basically no damage. Um, and you can see here the doggo's chi is... That, that rabbit had 2,500 chi, and the doggo is down to, like, half, and this thing has 7,500 chi. So we would definitely run out of chi before we finish this thing off. So we're going to have to leave that. Uh, that's fine, though. Um, the demon beasts, I think, do respawn. So you can always come back later and kill more if you need. Uh, I don't think you get any experience points for killing them or anything. But we're going to take these pickaxes. Uh, where's the other one? There it is. That's a spoiled one. They, they keep a spoiled meal on their display case. Questionable. Uh, okay, actually, before we leave, last thing we want to do... Well, that's a hundred insects elder and a blue lotus temple elder. These guys are at war with each other. I'm kind of surprised they're both just chilling here. I think they're at war. Maybe not. Sunshade abode. Yeah, definitely at least, uh, you know, one of these people should be fighting one of the others. <laughs> I think Sunshade abode is is on the good side. I'm pretty sure Mount Hundred Insects is on the evil side. Um, and then there's an even fall abode. Yeah, so I'm surprised they're just kind of chilling. All right. But we're just interested in people, regular mortals that we could recruit. The Taoist Priest, but his stats are kind of poor. Um, 
Social's fair. His charisma's like fair. He could do an agency for us. It's not the best, but it might have to do. Just keep him around for a little bit. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone else's. Uh, oh, actually, charisma. Uh, social's poor, though. Hmm. None of these people are terribly interesting. There's a lot of cultivators around here. That's exultant sex, so. Alright. I don't think. Uh, I could take that one, but. Eh. Not that interesting. Let's try to get the agencies first, and then we'll try to pick up more people. Meow doesn't have a room right now. Uh, she can use this room temporarily. She's not going to be around here for very long. Just, what, four or five more days? Uh, we don't need gear. I think if we make this a higher priority uh, area, then it will prioritize stuff there first. So maybe we can add, in here we can add fire stuff again. Um, but it should prioritize the spot first if there's room. Uh, you're an eight in a herb, herb garden. Yeah, you should be doing that. Yeah, and it helps your bless rating too. Perfect. Zhang is cultivating. The speed is kind of slow. I think it, it might. It must be because of her law stat. Um, so if you click uh, the items and equipment, you also see stats down here too. I kind of wish this was a separate, a separate page that you could just blow up and see, uh, you know, everything without having to scroll through all this. But I guess her cultivation speed bonus is only one hundred seventeen percent. That's not a whole lot. Set that to mind. Her uh, mental is getting kind of weak a little bit. Yeah. And then, um, group of men is attacked. Doggo is hesitating. Let's figure out what that is first. Oh, yeah, your time has come. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, that sets. I'd never attack on these unless they made the first move. I don't really like that, but I do want the bless to go up. I've never been able to get this up to max. It must be because I'm pretty sure I'd tell them to attack every time. Uh, luckily, though, we can just manually tell them to fight. And that doesn't appear to change this. <sighs> so that became a corpse. Yeah, not bad. Uh, we are starting to get some other nutrition in here, so that's good. Probably should have planted these herbs a long time ago. Um, oh, we did get some spirit leaf, though. That's like the least important one, though. <laughs> kind of sucks. So, um, yeah, do we move everything back down here again? <laughs> it's it's kind of ridiculous, but we might end up doing that. Uh, for now, let's do the gaming room. Uh, do, let's, let's, we'll give more space to the, um, the library. I think this will be big enough for now. We can always expand it later. 
flooring. Um, let's do a nice. So we need spirit stone offcuts. Neon needs a farm tool. Um, you don't. You're not even going to be here for that long, so. Meow, you can actually craft stuff a little bit. You're not allowed to craft. What was it? So you're not allowed to smith. Or mine or build. I think that's the sheltered trait, where you don't do hard work. Yeah, sheltered. Privileged life has made uh, he unable to do any hard manual labor. Needs a tool for chopping. This guy complains about this all the time. He's... Oh, he is a farmer. That's why. Sometimes they do have to chop stuff down. Let's, um... Let's just sort him out here. Now you don't have a, a chopping tool, do you? No. Yep. John is reading still. Mental is restoring. Jeez, everyone's assaulting us. Doggo. So we're up to 12% blast. I don't know how to get that up any further, though, because it seems like training them. Oh, okay, I wouldn't take... Let's see what this does. So use spells on ally. Okay, that doesn't change anything, but we do want him to use that. Um, he has some protection stuff that he learns down here later on. Uh, yeah, yeah. You... You can do that. I'll use skills on the enemy with the highest G. Okay. Doesn't seem to change this at all. attack enemies unless they had made the first move on you. Or yeah. Organize items so. though. What? How did he lose some okay? I think I broke something here. Oh, oh yeah. I often help move items. Yep. So set up the gaming room that, that will allow us to move all of these gaming things here and then we'll, we'll actually I think we'll, I think we will actually set up our dorm again right over here um, yeah because this is in a decent amount of space and there's all the fields are right here. I'm usually not this indecisive about my sec placement. It's just, I think it's just because this map is small. There's usually plenty of spots that I, I can choose from with just a wide open area um, that's also convenient. Just not the case this time. Someone disappeared in the village. I think that just means they left, actually. Okay, we don't have any fire powder. We can't heal anyone. So what do we need to do? We need to get her to Golden Core. Shikian is almost back. We could go, we could probably also train her too, but we only have really one good spot for training right now. And 
her mood is garbage too. Let's make some demon hide pants. Yeah, if an inner's mood is too low, it'll affect their mental state, and they may even become fallen. So we don't, I don't really want to... We'll get some clothing first. Uh, that'll solve the hot problem and the clothing problem. Uh, that'll, that'll pretty much sort out her mood for the most part. In the meantime, I think... Uh, let's see. Let's visit... Um, Mount Copper Tomb was where we had the, the master with the iron ore. I think there's some beasties around there, too. Uh, non paying we could, could could collect some meat, and I think there's some beasts, so let's do that one. Nothing else is interesting. Um, and we can't... We I think we could adventure here. But we can't trade for access. I'd rather just wait. Um, at least a little bit longer here. The only way we're going to get more coin is... Uh, a visiting merchant, really. Uh, or I guess we could just sell stuff. We could just trade this junk with a sack. Let's see if we can, um... Let's see if we can do that. Uh, here's a bunch of regular junk we're not using. It's a good blade. We'll keep that. Um, I don't think... Oh, yeah, they like scripts. Uh, this is written works. So they like the finer things in life. Uh, being a, another sect, you know. Unfortunately, we can't trade with, like, regular, you know, organizations that would take, like, hides and stuff like that. They, they don't care about any of that. They, uh, it might, might, uh, it might be valuable, but I know I can just offload these to, the, like, the regular merchants later on for some coin. I'm not sure if we get any any money out of these. Um, I don't think we do, to be honest. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Is that enough for access? No. What do I not mind getting rid of? Well, okay. That is enough. So we don't need a whole lot more stuff. Um, so what if we did that? Sorry, but I don't think so. What about that? Yeah, so I don't think they care about the hides at all. Um, and we kind of want to keep all of our other, uh, you know, stone essences and... Uh, we could sell just straight cotton. I think you get more by selling the fabric, though. Okay, maybe uh, maybe the sex don't even care about fabric. I know you can sell that to the merchant, though, to make some money. Um, yeah, so I guess, uh, I guess we'll have to spend the rest of our spirit box. Okay, so we only need to use about 20 or so. So now we have access, we can visit this sect as well. Um, I don't think we actually needed it for uh, adventuring here, but I feel a little bit safer. It's been a while. Uh, do we want to visit with Shang? I think we, we want to visit with uh, Shikian. Oh, she's leaving? Where is she going? Where'd, oh, I told you to go to uh, Nanping. Um... Cancel that. Go here instead. Ten times. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. So they gotta take a break first. Let's do that. <laughs> it's like a, a little hack. Since we canceled the adventure, they have to return at least to the village a little bit. For at least a moment. Um, but you can cancel it and <laughs> just force it along like that. All right. Doggo's 
Ethan's just chilling. He still doesn't have a bed. Oh, it's awaiting a builder. So we need someone to build it. Got plenty of builders. I'm sure it'll get done soon. Maybe we make a put a crafting room here. So let's get started on that. I do. Uh, man, yeah, the crafting room is a bit involved. So um, let's see. We want. I'm going to do a lot of feng shui uh, madness here. Uh, that's right. So we do need... Yeah, okay, so we can't do that yet. Let's get... Um, let's get some more bars made. Maybe we could start planning this out a little bit or maybe start uh, just start building stuff so we need a handcraft station I think we can make that out of metal the the wood uh, the timber station should be made out of wood all right it can only be made out of wood so let's put that uh, Let's put, let's see, do we want that closer to the entrance? Yeah. So let's put that right here. It'll all make sense why I'm like hesitating here in a second. So, um, Medicine table should be out of iron, I think. Handcraft station should also be out of iron. Mill, I think we want out of wood. No, we want it out of, I think maybe, I think I usually use earth element for it. This stuff should be made out of metal, I think is usually what I do. Talisman table, I think I make out of wood. So they'll have to stand there. So let's actually rearrange this. and then leaving a space in between for feng shui items and then so there'll be a spot right here and then that So then the door, so structure, ice crystal bar, we'll put that um, here. Okay. We do need more of it. We're making more. So this is uh, the wooden stuff. And then the fire stuff will be up here. Which is um, which is a furnace. Let's see, walls right there. The 
this might not be enough room. We might, uh, hmm. Well, well, we'll make it do. We might extend the length out. It's going to be it'll look a little bit different from the ones I normally do, but it'll be fine. So we'll make a marble forge. Uh, anything else? I think the stonework I make out of metal, maybe. Stonework was doesn't need to be anything in particular. Um, yeah, so I think the rest of the stuff is all... I feel like I'm missing something that should be... Should be earth. Oh, it might be the mill. No. No, I think I'm... I don't remember. I could just make it out of earth and see what happens. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. Is this enough room? I don't think it's going to be enough room, is it? Let's see. Yeah, that's not. It's not gonna be a whole lot. We're gonna have to make it a little bit longer. You know, the, the stonework might, um, mm -hmm. let me think. <laughs> Stonework uh, builds stone stuff, so it might be that it needs to be fire, but I don't think I ever build them out of fire. I think I usually build them out of, uh, oh, this one's wood, but I don't think I do that. I think I usually do... That's the thing, that's what I'm drawing a blank on. Let's, uh, we'll try it with um, iron first. go from there so um, right there Sure, I like that. Um, let's uh, do this instead. We'll put the handcraft station right here. That's plenty of room, I think. And the medicine table like that. Yeah, see, our problem is it's not not tall enough. Um, do we consume this area a little bit and this area? I guess we do, huh? Could just fit it right next to the wall, but then the, the feng shui might uh, 
spill into the other room here. I don't really want that. Okay, we need uh, fire right. The forge is going to be right there, so right there. And then I um, wish I could move these. Forge. The marble mill. So if we make it out of marble, an iron mill, <laughs> uh, I guess. And then iron stonework. And now, I think we have to go one more down to, what else do we have? Um, need the sewing table. I think that's it though. Medicine table, handcraft, timber, stone. Uh, stove is in a kitchen, which is in a separate area. Sewing loom, talisman, yep. So, that is, so we only need a sewing table right here. Uh, we should be good with that, I think. Is that enough room to make, uh, we could put something like right here actually too, to, um, improve the feng shui. All right. And then, I don't think the element of that matters because it's not touching. Okay. Everything appears to be auspicious just as is, and uh, we'll add decorations to make it even better. So, so, so uh, what I did there, obviously, so I had... I have earth. You want to make your forge and your furnace out of earth because it's going to produce fire and that fire will feed the earth element uh, building. And then, so I built the walls out of fire right next to it as well so that that adds the auspiciousness um, uh, you know, of the wall directly to those things as well. Uh, so that'll help, um, and then we'll put decorations. I left space in between each of these so that we could put some decorations in. Um, and so uh, I, I like this uh, scenario better. That way I have one crafting room where I go to to make everything. And then the only other thing that I want to do is set this to outers only. Uh, the talisman tables, um, the inner disciples will come here just to, just to play around with drawing, which is they can do that, but I'd I'd rather have have them do that in the gaming room down here when I get that sorted. So uh, and then uh, everything most most things I think I make them out of metal. So I think we'll just have uh, we have earth walls that cover most of it. We want to limit the amount of firewalls and and water stuff because that can alter the temperature. But they do kind of balance each other out. We could always add a little bit more firewall, too, if we want to make sure it's neutral, but it, it should be fine. It's only going to be a little bit of temperature difference. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it all works, but I have this out of water, which helps balance the fire as well, and uh, we put our wood water vat, so we have water sitting here for our furnace and, and, and anything else that needs it in the crafting room so they don't have to walk too far. Um and then uh, the talisman table, I think I just make it out of wood. I don't think it needs to be, but it works. Uh, and then timber station, you have to make it out of wood as well. So that one definitely has to be around the uh, wood water vat too to make it all, you know, feng shui uh, appropriate and uh, kind of kosher too. So it took me a long time to build this design. Many, uh, much trial and error, but... Uh, you can copy it as well for yourself if you want. We'll have to clear out all the grass too. And uh, yeah, we'll see what that looks like. Uh, we'll put floorboards down too, but 
yeah, we actually should probably do that next, but we'll get everything built first, and then we can destroy all this stuff down here, too. Uh, they're going to be busy for a bit. <sighs> Curious stranger came by. Use you, Jin. Uh, wow, he's a cook. Um, gosh, yeah. Uh, I guess we could just use you as a cook and crafter, right? We don't have. Uh, we do have a chef, but uh, they could do farming instead for us. Okay, and then we need more beds. Do we just temporarily build another? Oh, we do temporarily have this, so. Yeah, sure. Come on in. This guy's so good at cooking. He's not uh, passionate about it, but he's so good at it. He's like a master. He's actually a master. Master chef. Nice. We're going to eat good. Uh, let's see. Um, breakthrough state has appeared. So this is the bellows. Uh, if it goes wrong, the true fire will invade our bones and cause the depletion of marrows. Sounds slightly painful. Uh, is there... Maybe there's something we could have her learn to improve her law match. Because she's missing a lot of intelligence and luck. I don't think we can fix the luck, but maybe we could do something about intelligence. So let's study. Only show the things that are learnable. Uh, that's Chi and Constitution. Uh, Visceral Blaze, actually, she learns this from her own law, I think. Um, but she can learn it here. Improves all five attributes by 5%. So that's good. Intelligence. Uh, we'll get the Chi stuff later on, too. Uh, that's really good for forming the Golden Core. Uh, probably pretty soon, to be honest. And uh, we're a busy sect now, so we have this uh, nice pickaxe made out of dark steel bar. If someone has a bad one, you can drop it. Uh, we have two of them, that's right. We only have one miner, I think. Oh no, there's another one. So now they'll use uh, better stuff for it. This guy still says he needs a tool for chopping. Didn't we make one? What? Did someone else take it? <laughs> All right, let's make like three of them. Done messing around with that. Next step, I think, will be to make a nice kitchen. Uh, we do some uh, kind of shenanigans there. Not as involved as the crafting thing here. But, uh, yeah, uh, we're also going to remove uh, just a, the small portion of the storage area, expand it out this way a little bit, and uh, put a well right here, I think. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Uh, does it look nicer there or there? Yao needs a farming tool, but no, she doesn't. She's going to be gone soon anyway. We have 60 influence now. It'd be nice if we could get one of these events to trigger, because I think we also get influence from that too, so it'll it'll really like snowball our uh, agency formation quicker. Okay, so... Uh, what's your law match looking like now? Okay, we, we lost one negative <laughs> point. Okay. Let's, um, you know what? Uh, let's have you transcribe the other laws. Yeah. Go for it. This takes quite a while. I think it takes like a day or two for each. 
So we'll destroy all of this stuff uh, when we get this room fully sorted. Uh, and their efficiency will increase dramatically with this. Because everything will be centrally located. It's nearby the storage right here. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, we do, I think I still will probably move my dorms down here. I usually like to have the dorms like right along here, uh, dojo right below it, and then kitchen over here, and then crafting over here, but like a little bit lower or something like that. Kind of keeps it all like in one basic area. So I know for the most part where my outers are during the day and whatnot. Makes management easier. Uh, that's basically what it boils down to in this game, is just finding ways to make your life easier. Um, while also, of course, always respecting the auspiciousness of stuff. So that's why this room is uh, very... It's, I have it built in a very particular manner. Which is why it took that long there. So, but we're done with that now. Uh, as soon as all this stuff gets built... We will put down flooring and then arrange the uh, decorations to further improve the aus auspiciousness. Yeah, we're definitely going to need some ice stuff like right in this corner. But as uh, you might have noticed too, you don't want to like put something right here and then put something right here. Because uh, then they won't be able to reach this, probably. So we'll, we'll do uh, the corners first and w work our way inside from the outer wall here. Okay, I'm going to speed up the game. Everything's going pretty well. I can't really complain. Uh, we have uh, food to eat. Not a whole lot, but enough. Uh, we got crops growing. Uh, we have our inner disciple area starting to be formed. Make a marble lantern for this to add auspiciousness and give them light to pretty important for a crafting room. I make it a little bit wider. I don't know why I went so small with it. Might have just to might have been just to get it up and running here. Uh, we need to mine all this out too uh, cuz we're going to use all this area basically for uh, our inner disciples and stuff. We might actually remove all this water, too, because we have plenty of water over here that we can use for, uh, like, lotus root and other more special stuff. Uh, heal the elder. Needs a large amount of metal chi. Definitely can't help with that. I think that's, like, yeah, they want a sage fruit, so you have to gift him a uh, sage fruit. We're definitely not doing that anytime soon. We need all the sage fruit we can get for ourselves, to be honest. And we're not finding any right now. So. Okay. They seem to be liking the uh, table. Might need a second table. that one though for now uh, it's, 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 that's fine for now we're, we're gonna have to move uh, let's do that now actually since I'm thinking about it uh, temporarily at least we might move this stuff again later there we go and uh, let's see what is this oh I had the wooden well down here to because the furnaces use uh, water Heard that were there were more than a few terribly interesting places. Uh, yeah, search for secluded spots. Gem Spring Cave. Uh, that's actually really nice. 
Um, yeah, so Gem Spring Cave is the first location we've discovered. Uh, this place outputs Earth Flux. Um, it replenishes a large amount of stamina and expands your chi reserve, increasing max chi. Um, so the one thing to remember most important with Golden Core forming, which is what we're about to do anyway, is that the higher your max chi is when you start it, um, the uh, multiplic it's like a multiplicative event, uh, effect for how far your Golden Core can go. So we're not too terribly concerned with getting a good Golden Core right now, but hey, you know, since we got this, we might as well eat an Earth Flux, right? Uh, we can go, um, after Zhang uh, transcribes this, we'll go and uh, check that place out. And we should be able to find some, at least one Earth Flux just, just sitting around. Uh, and actually Zhang, um, her luck isn't the best, but she uh, she should do a pretty good job at finding more of that stuff on her own if, she, if we just send her out there adventuring later on. So we'll just let her eat the first one, and uh, that'll help her a lot. She actually might die, though. <laughs> uh, the uh, Earth, Flux, Earth Flux expands your max chi so hard that if you're not careful, it, it can actually overload you. Um, so a group of bandits is attacking us. So we do have to be careful. We'll, we might have to teach her some chi expansion stuff first before we do that. Um, Doggo, can you deal with that? And yeah, your bless is not moving at all, so I think there might be some other stuff that has to be done. Okay. Let's just get more wheat going. It's summer now, uh, so we're getting close to autumn and then winter. Um, obviously, crops don't really grow in the winter. Later on, we'll be able to... Um, influence the temperature in these areas we could do it uh now to some extent but we just wouldn't be very good at it so we might skip it this year but you can actually build a room around it and uh and that's the other reason why i made this all one room is that the temperature changing materials that are used in here will all add together um and form just one uniform temperature which fills the whole room so you can use that mechanic to form walls around these fields and then put little display cases with like, you know, this dangerous beast blood that sets things on fire. If you have a room inside of it, it just increases the temperature instead, uh, which may uh, result in setting things on fire. But in the winter, if you just put a few in, it can actually change the temperature to a normal point uh, and crops will continue to grow. Kind of weird. Um, I mean... If you have a roof over the overhead and you're restricting the temperature, then you don't have any light. But uh, we'll, we'll ignore some of that, you know. <laughs> some of the, the weird things. Uh, you Okay, so this guy is thirsty. I think it's because he can't move. So he's stuck in there. I think he'll, he'll say he's trapped too. No, I guess not. But I, I'm pretty sure he's trapped. So he's, we're going to move this temporarily. And then uh, we'll put... Yeah, he's going to get water. Okay. Put some, uh, some marble stuff up here. Right here is fine, too. And... Um, yeah, uh, so we wanted, uh, let's see, I think we want, yeah, we wanted it right there. So let's put something right here as well, too. This will also prevent items from appearing there, too, I think. Making sure it's made out of marble. So that'll feed this stuff. Uh, we'll wait for these two things to get built, and then we'll move this stonework back, and then uh, we should be good there. Uh, so, uh, 
let's have you try your breakthrough uh, after you wake up. It's about to be daytime. I don't know how long this breakthrough takes. We do want it to land on, obviously, daytime. Okay, soon Guidi from the Merchant Union comes to visit. So if we have enough stuff to, to trade, maybe we can buy that firecracker this time. I don't know if we have anything. We're pretty poor. Let's see. Breakthrough. Yeah, go ahead and do it now. And then what do we what do we have around here? Uh, we got a wooden sword. No one else is picking up uh, picked up those pickaxes. We could sell our old ones. I know we want to keep uh, keep that here. Um, I don't want to sell my spirit wood. I could sell this blade. Might fetch some money. Oh, we had some other stuff like hides and stuff. So yeah, maybe maybe we'll be good. Let's trade. Uh, some 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 garbage clothing too and whatnot. Three timber axes. Uh, I made those because they keep complaining about them, so we'll keep that. Those are the garbage uh, tier pickaxes. Apparently, no one likes that f um, that clothing, so we'll sell it. And then there's the hide. As you can see here, we're getting more money for all of it. I, I don't know if the sex care about it though. So that's why we use this opportunity to get rid of it. Um, we have a lot of stone essence. I think we'll keep that. I think we can give it to sex if they need it. Um, uh, we can also use it as a basic uh, gather chi item, at least temporarily. Uh, there's much better stuff. Like this jade essence is actually better. I want to keep our cotton. We should be uh, making uh, fabric out of that, uh, which allows it to sell for more cash. I think it. I think one cotton becomes like four or five fabric, and both a cotton and a fabric sell for one. So, so you just multiply your cotton uh, into more spirit bucks, which we desperately need. Uh, yeah, in fact, we'll get rid of this indigo fabric then, too. So, 397. Uh, the boar hide, bear hide. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's all we want. So, 489. Uh, we do want a firecracker, so we're ready next time. So, that's 200. Um, uh, auction invitation is interesting too. We can go to an auction, but we have no money. So I think we'll wait on that. Yeah. So, and then reminder, make sure to set the amount or else the merchant thinks you're giving them a gift. All right. Now we have, uh, we have 300 spirit bucks left over. Along with the firecracker. So next time one of those elves appears, we can uh, we can set them on fire and laugh at them and then take their stuff. Because we're nice Chinese people. Alright. Uh, she's still breaking through. Uh, she's halfway done with it. It's 10. I think I started at like 4, so it should be still barely within the daytime. Uh, it might be starting to fall when she's finished, but it should be okay. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. I think, yeah, so she'll... Uh, it'll be painful for her if she uh, fails, but it won't be devastating. It, it, it won't, uh, it won't uh, matter too much. Shikian is still... Where did she go? I can't even remember where I sent her. <laughs> She's been gone for a bit. Uh, oh, she went to... Ma That's right. I had her going to Mount Shu repeatedly. 
I don't think she has done anything yet there. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, when you go to a sect location, you can get the uh, some of the rare minerals here. Uh, you can you can find them in, uh, you know when you do a resource collection. But oftentimes, what happens when you're visiting visiting like a sect capital like this, instead uh, you'll get events to actually greet the sect people, um, you know, or or interact with them somehow. Uh, I'd really like to not do that and just get the ore though. We need, uh, this is the igneo copper for fire, and this is the ice crystal for water, and this is the dark steel for iron, or for metal. Uh, this stuff doesn't um, change the temperature, it doesn't do any cheese stuff either, but uh, it's a very nice metal, so it's, um, so it's pretty valuable. I think the best stuff is made, like the best tools I think are made out of that dark steel, which we have a little bit right here, but yeah, it's high tier metal, so good for crafting like weapons and stuff too. We're mostly interested in the ice crystal uh, and the fire uh, crystal stuff, or fire ore. It started to <laughs> rain. <laughs> so water destroys fire. Uh, thankfully, it looks like she finished her breakthrough maybe in time or something. Um, so uh, <laughs> that weather, heavy rain, uh, not good. Not good for, uh, for Zhang. So uh, she's, she's good anyway, though. Uh, so we'll, we'll transcribe you another law. Um, sunflower. And then she's going to get a lot of experience for doing this. Uh, so, uh, this enhances max chi. Uh, that, that's good stuff. Uh, Skyfire Meridians, more max chi and constitution. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, we'd have to be a little bit careful, but... We need all that stuff anyway. So, yep. So that's all the stuff that's really important. Uh, innate Chi here is, is a spell. So this is actually something that you would cast in combat, and it deals damage. Uh, similarly to Firestorm, but this is of a fire element. So yeah, even the spells that we cast in combat against the other people uh, can be element-based. I think Innate Chi is just uh, like Spirit Gun. <laughs> you know, it just fires like a small Chi bolt. I don't think it has any particular element associated with it. Firestorm, definitely fire. Uh, so this will wreak havoc on like the snake people, like Shikion, um, or any wood element cultivator, really. Uh, so, um, but uh, we, we don't need spells right now. We're not doing any fighting. Uh, this one adds spell power. We don't need that. We're not doing any fighting. Uh, that'll just make this more potent. Uh, we just need stats right now, really. So our first charity event, Sean led the disciples to the street and started giving alms to path passersby. They saw two young gentlemen were fighting over a woman. So here we get to choose what we want to do to deal with the situation. Um, could use spirit stones. Uh, could send a disciple. I don't, I don't think I've ever done this, to be honest. Um... Uh, we could give people food. It doesn't sound like that would help this situation. We could threaten others, like, hey, stop fighting over the woman. Uh, or we could just use social skills to solve problems. Um, I think uh, th this this works for a lot of uh, situations, so we'll do that. A charisma is close to social, but it's actually just the ability to appeal to others, like to maybe draw them toward your, towards your side. It's kind of weird. It, it doesn't... Um, like, you may think you're choosing the right option for sure, and it's just, just the wrong option. <laughs> so you just have to you have to figure them out. They're all static. Once you know what this is, uh, you'll know which one to choose. I think I think social is the right one here, so we'll see. Uh, if we fail, uh, oh well. Uh, it would be nice if we succeed, though, because then I think we do gain influence for it, and I think we'll gain a bit of followers, so we'll see what happens. 
Okay. Luli needs a tool for chopping, even though we have... We have three, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna... Tell, yeah, stop doing whatever you're doing. Go equip that. Uh, I'm done with that. Alright. That's annoying. Uh, you need... You... Who is you? Who is you? Who is it? Did I... Oh, yeah, is our new chef. I totally forgot to set him up. Yeah, that's right. He's a, a god tier chef. So we'll have... Um, uh, I guess we'll have you be a builder for now. We'll just turn off priority on you. No hunting, even though you like it. Uh, you can build. Farm, no. Mine, no. Log, no. You can assist as well with uh, this stuff if you have free time. Injured strangers here. Wishes she could stay for a while. Are we interested in her? Um, 19 social, charisma 7. Um, she could form an agency too, but I think we'll pass for now. Uh, she'll stick around for a few days anyway, though. Uh, let's see. We kind of need to get another... Um, oh, this is this room is done, right? Or no. Um, that's right, we're still making... Do we have a smith? No, we don't. Uh, you go to smith. Need to get this building done so that we can, uh... Oh, well, we could... Let's see. All this stuff is actually made, so... And that stuff is done, too, so... Uh, wow, Feng Shui... Oh, yeah. So the Feng Shui is slightly auspicious right now just because of the weather. Um, the weather will affect things temporarily. Um, so as you can see here, the wooden stuff is like, Oh, this is great. It's raining on me right now. Um... And it's feeding the wood element stuff. Uh, surprisingly, that's just auspicious. That should be definitely uh, very auspicious right now. We're lacking kind of uh, ice crystal stuff nearby, though. So if we put a couple things in that corner, it should be better. Uh, but that's what we need these bars for. So we need to get that rolling. Um, and we can demolish all of this stuff now. So we led the disciples to the street and started giving alms to people. Uh, we saw they were fighting over a woman. Check results. Uh, we tried to pacify them through displays of social skills. How can a woman let the two of you decide for her? Let her decide. And then she fled. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. Just like real life. Um, the crowd seemed to improve. improve. Uh, yeah, the two were incensed. Um, so that they, they were heated. They were hot about that. Uh, we gained 98 influence. Great. So now we can establish another spot. Uh, some of the people at Mount Sal chose to become our followers. Um, so we gained 7,000. Perfect. Uh, great. So now we can go set up... I think I want to do Riverbank Plains. We can get a lot of wheat here and some brownstone. Yeah, that sounds good, actually. Uh, so, meow. So, Riverbank Plains... Um, let's do a pagoda. Riverbank pagoda. Um, we're kind of broke, but if we do this, um, they might be able to solve events and maybe add some, some extra followers and stuff like that on our way over. Uh, I think we'll skip it. We're, we're, we're pretty broke. We need all the money we can get. So that kind of looks like dinner over there for the chicken. Alright. Um, and then we can... Uh, uh, yeah. Let's, let's move all of the uh, furnace... Actually... 
this furnace is doing better than the um, than this furnace right now. <laughs> Auspicious wise. Let's demolish it. it. I just love the uh, the ambient uh, like thunder and stuff in this game. Oh, great. So well done. Sewing loom. You know, it's the small things in life, right? So, uh... Yeah, I think it's just the rain. So we'll, we'll see what things look like when uh, the rainy weather goes away in a little bit. Jong's still transcribing, and Shikian is still adventuring. We might have her stop. Uh, more attackers. crazy good luck, but uh, not today, he doesn't. Doggo missile is coming in. Bam. Wait, I think he missed. Boom. Just like that. He's a corpse. The doggo. Yeah, the doggo's stuck at 12%. Maybe, um... Maybe in the uh, uh, future growth stages, he'll be able to gain increased bless or something. I've never actually bothered with that. I, I usually do try to keep the fatness in line. I think usually in order to do that, we uh, later on we can tell him what to eat. And I think we tell him to eat uh, the wheat. I think is a good way to... Make him a little bit fatter. Not too fat, just uh, not bony. A fae has shown up and has brought continuous rain and illness. Uh, so that's kind of fortuitous, actually. Uh, these beasts change the weather, like, basically permanently. So now, as you can see here, uh, you know, maybe that's why we had heavy rain to begin with, as this thing was moving into the area, right? Uh, it stays that way basically forever. Uh, until we kill this thing. So, uh, so we're gonna do that, I think. Um, I kinda wanna have the doggo just attack it, though. Because they can hurt. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll have someone else hunt it. If you don't kill this thing, like I said, the rain stays forever. Um, I think this thing attacks with magic, too. So... Now his leisure is increasing because he's just chilling. Yeah, magic beast. Um, I think we can get some good hide out of this thing too, so we'll see. Yep, as soon as it died. Uh, oh yeah, 13 beast blood. That's a lot. And yeah, like 100 fey hide. Um... So we want you to be the tailor. Uh, yeah. And then have you make that stuff. Just to make sure. Uh, we'll make... Let's see. Fey hide. Yeah, so we only need 18 per. So let's make a couple sets of this. This will make some high quality stuff. As you can see here, it's blue. Uh, so it's a t it's tier of spirit relic. So it's gonna make it's basically equivalent, I think, uh, to the demon beast hide. So it should make some really good stuff for us. And it'll look cool too. I think it's like purple. Uh, Meow encountered some farmers being bullied. Uh, persuade. Hey, stop. Uh, oh, the cultivator knocked our agent out. Oh man. Ugh. All right delays while on the road. It's a dangerous place out here. Especially for a mortal, you know, mortals really aren't uh, you know, able to defend themselves against like cultivators obviously. So So, uh, we're transcribing more stuff. Uh, 
Uh, she'll probably want to sleep after that because her energy is low. There's a fire. Oh yeah, that was, the beast blood was there. So now, uh, if we don't stop it soon, uh, the whole map is just gonna explode. Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is madness. Oh no. Uh oh. Hurry up. This person's standing in the fire? Yeah, she got burned. Oh, okay, and it's still going on. Alright. Okay, perfect. It was because of the beast blood. I think we moved it down there. Yep. Yeah, dangerous stuff. Dangerous stuff. Um, let's see. 29 degrees. So it is chilling it down 8 degrees in here. This room is magnificent. Attractiveness. Common. Common quality stuff. And it's not cramped or spacious, so actually normal is the correct, uh, the correct, uh, layout here. Common, normal, common. Very auspicious. And we're still looking for those metal bars. Uh, but we're making this stuff first. This is this is good stuff. Uh, defecate in nests? No, you you have a spot to defecate. Let's see, yeah, there we go. So that moves us up to twenty percent. I think, what, what do we need, like, maybe 50% then, I think was the threshold. I think that'll help her, or help him, um, with protection. I want to practice, yeah, Chi, sounds good. Right? Yeah, it doesn't change anything here. Go for it. We have plenty of Ginkgo stuff. Um, I wish I could tell him to eat the wheat. Uh, I think I can later on. Um, G is hurt. Who's that? Oh, that's our visitor. Um, we will get enough influence to set up another agency in a day. So uh, we will do that. I think I'll want uh, Central Plain gives us uh, some brownstones, a little bit of wood and wheat. This is giving us wheat and brownstones, so we could do Central Plains uh, for a little bit of wheat and wood. Could get Spirit Stones there too. I know those are nice, but uh, we kind of just want wheat right now. Uh, this gives us plenty of wood. Hmm. Uh, I guess it'll have to be Central Plain then. Uh, or maybe we do City of Abundance. We, we could probably afford that uh, after we get Riverbank Plains up and running. So cities don't produce any resources, but we can do things like uh, recruiting people. Um, the other nice thing about City of Abundance is it's pretty close to us, so we can go visit it. Easily, more easily to collect the beliefs there. Um, uh, kind of do want that instead, though. The central plane. Yeah, I think we'll do the central plane for the third. We'll, we'll do the city. Uh, the city uh, after that. Then. Kind of just need to get our base going here. We do have twenty-one thousand followers now, so that's good. Uh, at Mount South, uh, we do need 25,000 to upgrade our hall, and I think that just gives us more influence daily. So, yet again, just another investment, you know, feeds into itself, basically. So 
some items. Oh yeah, that's right. She was traveling to Mount Shu. Mount Shu. So let's see what we get. Okay, ten, ten dark steel ore. It's not exactly what we we're looking for, but it's okay. Um, I think. I think we might tell her to return, pick up some new clothing. Uh, oh, where is that stuff? Oh yeah, right there it is. Uh, meow encountered some refugee. What a shame they've no home to return to. Persuade. Uh, come along. No, they weren't sure they were going to survive. Yeah, that's fair. I If we had spirit stones, I think that's when we can offer it. But uh, we don't. So, Zhang, uh, you have some garbage stuff on still, so you can pick up uh, the sect uniform and cultivator pants, and then I think we're still making one more, right? Oh. Oh, no, there it is. Yep. So, uh, well, uh, this is actually a... Oh, a beam of light is shot down from the sky. It seems to be something precious. Treasure. Treasure? Colossal ghost wood. Uh, so this is an artifact. It's actually a really good wood one, uh, for at least for us for now. Uh, 27 artifact power. We might uh, use that on... Um, we might use that on she, even though she would prefer... Because she's a wood element, she'd like to have a fire element thing. But it's like way stronger. I think I think it would be better to use that on her for now. Either way, we're taking it, though. Um, we could always sell it later on, too, for cash. Spirit bucks. Kind of a nice thing. So... Yeah, we still need, uh, so this, uh, what I was pointing out, though, this face side hecked with, uh, Fey Hide Sect uniform has a low quality, so I don't even know if she would like to wear it. Let's make another one just to be on the safe side. Uh, we could always sell this one if no one really wants to take it. Uh, your outers can use the sect uniforms and stuff, too, so... And they will go and pick it up if you let them. Um, by default, you do. Uh, Yao Guy wants to join. Uh, needs help with the tribulation. Um, but uh, you're not really that interesting, so... Yeah, so you can... Um, move along. Move along, set. Dog was hesitating. I want to bite an unknown mortal. Uh, I'm betting if I tell you not to do that, that would be better, right? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't just go bite people. Okay, uh, so you can transcribe another law now, I think. As you can see here, too, this, I like this visual effect. It shows the books being filled into the manual pavilions as you go along. Really nice. So, uh, we'll put in, um, yeah, go for it. All right. Transcribing yet another law. And this is, again, giving her experience points. So she'll be able to use that. Oh, wow, yeah, that's right. Her artifact crafting is high because of the background that he gave her. Kind of sucks, because she's now like a spellcaster, not an artifact crafter. You kind of want people to specialize, because um, I think I might have mentioned already, your attainment will start to you know ramp up pretty fast, and it's a multiplier on the amount of experience you need for more, more skills or spells or levels up, level up in anything. It all just gets added up to your attainment. Um, which will mean you need stupid amounts of inspiration later on just to learn a single skill. Um, yeah. So you do want to be a little bit careful. Uh, you definitely don't want to take everything on the board. Uh, like we're not doing Cloud Dispelling Chant, which brings about sunny weather through a miracle. Uh, pan panacea would be good. Um, it cures the target's inner injuries without needing to eat anything or um, eat any special medicines. 
Uh, a gang of demons were in Snake Tail Village. Uh, sucks for them. And uh, Ju Yi Yi. Oh, that's right. We were gonna send. We're gonna send you along your way uh, tomorrow or whatever. Whenever this influence goes up. And you're gonna do Central Plain. Excellent. So they're finally planting these herbs. People, I think uh, people are finally starting to get on their feet here. Okay, so these are only slightly auspicious. Um, it is right, though. Yeah, the fire will feed, so we just need more of it. Um, problem is, uh, no one's doing the smithing, so... Actually, for now, uh, no, you're going to be gone, like, tomorrow, so. Smithing. Uh, that's right, we never put the, and we deconstructed our thing down here, so. That would explain why nothing's getting done. But it's nice with this, too. So you can come here, if you know you need to make something, Everything gets made right here, so. I like this design personally. Uh, we'll do it out of Spirit Stone just to be on the safe side. I don't think it matters. Oh, I don't mean that. Um. But it will make everything easier to see in here, too. Because uh, the color difference. And uh, I won't have to worry about the auspiciousness. Uh, I don't think, uh, like I said, I don't think flooring matters, but um, we'll just play it safe. Okay, we'll leave the auspicious ratings up to, or auspicious, uh, the, the Feng Shui element generation to stuff like this like that and uh like that do um uh a nice vase uh and a nice vase yeah, as we can see here we need a lot of stuff so okay Doggo's waiting. What are you waiting for, Doggo? Immortal visitors visiting. So let's see. What are they? Okay, so they're not. They're not associated with any sect. It's just a random person. Uh, we could convince them to join us if we were interested in them. Uh, that is interesting in a way because you can also take their law. You could have them transcribe their own knowledge into your uh, bookshelves. So that's a way of getting, like, uh, just this randomly generated stuff, like bonus shield defense, uh, if you want that. Um, but, uh, but they're a golden core. We don't even have a golden core yet. Uh, they probably won't join us. We don't have anyone that's good at convincing people to, to join. So, so uh, we'll just leave them to their own devices. It looks like they decided to set up right here. That's fine. Can do that. It's Earth, so uh, it's actually destroying you right now. The five elements are restraining each other. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can have a room, I guess, uh, or maybe not. No, you're not allowed a room. <laughs> uh, we do have a hundred now, though. So central pain, uh, central plane. Mm -hmm. What was it? It was uh was Juyi, right? Charisma, yeah. Uh, what do we... That's right, this is our cook. For some reason, I keep thinking this guy is like some random person, but he's our cook. Central Plains. So our that'll be our central shrine. Um... Yeah, sure. Have it this time. 
Maybe we'll uh, get some followers to uh, join the city that way. Probably worth the hundred spirit bucks, to be honest. Uh, but we don't have any, really. So, she, what are you supposed to be doing right now? You're supposed to be equipping new stuff. She's returning, so uh, in six seconds we'll have her equip the new stuff. Uh, or oh, someone else took the uh, the pants. They were like, "Oh, that's great. I'll take it." Oh man. Oh, you know what? We don't even have. We only have eighteen uh, hide left. Oh man. Well, let's see if she likes that, at least. A natural disaster broke out near Riverback City. People were in serious distraught as many mortals had died in it. Ugh. Yeah, ancient China is not a great place to live in, you know? Yeah, the other sects are doing stuff constantly, so we can't uh, we can't slouch around ourselves, to be honest. Zhang's about to finish transcribing that law. Boom! It fills in more books, and she immediately starts sleeping. She doesn't even go to her bed. She's like, "I'm out." I think. Uh, what? Yeah, that's her bed. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna craft some offcuts eventually I think too man everyone just wants to fight us doggo sick him. Uh, so these are all like regular mortals uh, it's not even a contest as you can see here one uh, the, the dog's core is enough to just pummel them into oblivion instantly so it doesn't really become uh, problematic until later on. <clears throat> so I'm going to have Shen uh, attack this person after she's done eating. This is already a corpse. That'll be a corpse here in a moment. And uh, we'll move that over the fields as well. Excellent. Smithing is getting done. So now uh, these objects have been created. We're only slightly auspicious here. I must be doing something wrong. Yeah, this is a problem. Oh, oh yeah. okay, never mind. We're auspicious now. Well, this is still slightly. I guess we just need a lot more stuff. Um, I might be doing something wrong, because I, I would think just with these walls, it should be just regular auspicious. Um, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's put some uh, isolate. Oh, man. That'd be great to have that in there. Statues. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Yeah, I like that. We do need to get more of that ore as well. Um, it's just going to be so hard to get it from there. So actually, let's have... Uh, is your mood better now? Um, oh, perfect. Yeah, so your suitable clothing. Excellent. That's what we need. Uh, environment's still filthy, but um, she's at least able to be a person now. So uh, what's your breakthrough? Oh, yeah, you need to... Um, the Palace of 5G. Uh, so we'll let you do that. Um, we'll let... Gee, you was robbed. Uh, don't, 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 don't. Don't rob us. Thanks. So 
So now you can do charity at Riverbank Plains. Uh, we'll go set that up. We need to build all of the... Um, uh, we definitely want wheat. Uh, yep, more wheat. And yeah, more wheat. That's great. Uh, we'll turn off the watch on this for just a couple days while this place builds up the wheat fields. And this place will make some uh, wheat. Uh, maybe even brownstones. We need... Yeah, we're not producing any brownstones yet, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that uh, instead of uh, instead of wood over there. Uh, Ju Yu Yi doesn't exist anymore. She's an abbot, so she doesn't need that. Zhang Ming is in a bad... This guy's always in a bad mood, I feel like. Look at that, though. He's doing good. Okay. This guy's just... Uh, He's just a picky person, I guess. Uh, use our chef. He needs a farm tool. Is that true, though? He's not a farmer or a logger, so no, that's not true. He got a bruise. He too got a bruise. Or maybe that was the other person. Scar. Scars. I think it's a little bit costly, at least early game, to try to cure scars. I think you need to make like a special pill for it. We don't even have an alchemist station yet, so we can't even craft any alchemist stuff at all. I know you don't like spirit wood, but here you go, have more. Uh, and, and, you know, we do get a, a small stock of uh, igneo copper here. So let's, uh, or, um, it's summer. Uh, that'll be really hot if we try to collect all that at the same time. So let's, um, let's mine this stuff out. There we go. That'll give us more room, too. Uh, we do have our um, a play area. This will be our play zone. So leisure. Um, let's uh, put stuff off the wall a little bit. Uh, let's actually prioritize this stuff first. I want a wood bird cage. That sounds good, right? Uh, go table out of maybe iron. Uh, let's actually do all of wood right here, so... Uh, and then we would need uh, some ice stuff up here. Uh, yeah, so we might need to make this a little bit bigger. Let's just make a metal zither for now, though. Um, and a metal go table and a metal bird cage. They're actually just fine as is. Oh, that's good. That'll be enough for now. Um, we'll expand this room in a little bit, but we'll just put some... Uh... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. It's actually decent for just randomly choosing a plot of land. Um, and then, uh, let's see. This is metal stuff right here, so we'll put... Uh, just some lighting in right here. Perfect. Uh, yeah, it looks weird, but we'll 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 resort that later. Not a big deal. It'll be good enough. Um, and then we just make sure that uh, all of this stuff is set to inners. We don't want our uh, outer. I mean, they shouldn't go down here anyway, but we don't want them. We don't want them to use our uh, good people stuff. We don't want any any filthy uh, peasants in our uh, in our immortals uh, gaming chamber. 
gaming hall. And then uh, we'll actually say uh, outers, outers, outers. Uh, and we can demolish that. I don't think they, I don't even think they'll use a go board to be honest either. So let's just demolish that. I think they only use these two if I'm not mistaken. Might be wrong. Uh, all right. So we do still need to get a kitchen. Might put that still trying to decide if we put it right here that's a decent spot even if we have to move back over here so let's do that um, so so we want Oh, this is metal. Hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe we put it right here. Gosh, I have to think about this a little bit more. Uh, we could make this area s regular soil. The problem is, uh, so this rocky terrain, I think it produces, yeah, a huge amount of metal chi. Um, and so that metal chi... I guess it doesn't distort fire. Yeah, I guess maybe it doesn't matter. All right, let's 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 try it and see. Well, so I also like to stick a water vat in here, and that metal will destroy the water, or the, the wooden water vat, I'm pretty sure. So, um... Let's do this. Marble uh, stove right uh, here, I think. Right here. Uh, right here. And then... So it's a marble stove, so we'll build igneo copper alongside of it. And then ice crystal, I think. Yeah, to feed the water vat. So the ice crystal vat will be right there, and then we'll go right alongside of it like that. water vat will be right here and then uh, I think we can just finish this off with uh, marble That should work. We'll see. Zhang, what are you doing? Uh, you got to practice. Uh, but Oh, that's right. We're trying to get all the manuals transcribed. Maybe you can learn some good stuff now, though. Uh, anything for intelligence? No? Okay, great. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's finish transcribing all this stuff so we get this out of the way. Grand Chariot. Zhang. And then actually, yeah, let's have you uh, transcribe as well. Mm -hmm. So now uh, they'll both be busy doing that. We'll just have one more to do. It is uh, really nice that we have uh, seven laws to start. Uh, you'll see in each of these laws, I think I can inspect them. Yeah, so uh, the Jade Purity Immortal Law, actually, if you inspect the tree, it shows you stuff you can get. Um, at the core shaping phase, you can actually get 10% luck. So, um, so yeah, we should learn that, too. This one extends lifespan and increases max chi. Perfect for making a golden core. 
um, and just life in general. Uh, so that's a bonus that we have. Uh, this is also a bonus that, that most games, you know, you won't have by the default. You get bonus chi sense. Uh, and the conditioning chant for perception, constitution, and a bit more max chi as well. So <laughs> artifact crafting for dummies. Uh, oh, and you can, um, uh, when you're not using your chi for anything else, you can actually condense it into spirit box. And uh, in addition, uh, spirit, um, I don't know, spirit stonks, I guess we'll call that spirit crystals or spirit stonks. That stuff's the good stuff. We, don't, we haven't even found any spirit crystals yet. Uh, that's, that's really nice stuff. Uh, they're asking for assistance. Goodlands Palace, Elder. Oh yeah, they need. So they they want metal chi again. That's another sage uh, fruit thing. Uh, this guy, they lost wood chi and they need it. Uh, but we have no available spirit root either. So that's yet another. Like they need a. Uh, I think the wood one is gnarled root. Let's see. Um. Wow. There's a lot of quests. Yeah, seven slurring sect. They uh, the wood she suddenly dissipated, and they don't uh, they don't have any spirit root right now. But uh, you know, unfortunate for them, we don't have any either. So we don't want to give it to them anyway. I think they're they're bad people. Uh, we, we you know maybe we will later on. I don't know. So we don't need that. Uh, we won't need that shortly either. Uh, we will put a well down here, though. So actually, maybe... Oh, you know what? We should... Mm, uh, let's see. Let's sort that again. We'll put this towards the door so it's a little bit more centralized. And I think that this this spot is yeah fertile soil so perfect yep auspicious so uh, and then we'll fill this out with uh, marble blocks uh, so so what that so what that does is it uh, evil sect uh, disciples were seen wandering around Nanping okay we won't deal with them. They can they can wander all about they want. Um, so this will move the ice crystal over here. So now we can put instead of having a well over here, we can put the well right here. So that they can take water out of the well, put it in the vat, and then feed the stove all pretty pretty quickly uh, because the door is right here. And then we can also stick um, like a, a a water a metal a water post right here, and it should. It should reach all of it. So let's let's see. Uh, wooden she right here, and then a uh, yeah. We'll we'll see. Um, we'll see if that reaches this. I'm not sure if it will, but or wait. Uh, oh yeah, I guess this would be the same. We could move this. Yeah, let's do this, actually. Feng Shui Simulator. <laughs> it's a puzzle. Yeah, there we go. Two, it should definitely reach two. So, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see how that works. I think it'll look nice. Should be nice. Just need to get it all built. Uh, we do still need a couple more. GE encountered some refugees. They have no home to return to. Well, I'll give them spirit stones. Uh, come along, central plains up ahead. Yeah, 1,400 people. All right. Yeah, it's probably worth it in the long run. We desperately need more um, ice crystal. I think we're getting, yeah, we're going to get some here. 
Uh, they're both transcribing, so we're going to speed up the game, and I'll watch the doggo while they're busy uh, eating rabbit meat. Okay. Blessing is at 24%. That's good. Rabbit meat uh, adds muscle, doesn't add fat. We could use simple meals, but I think he can also eat the wheat, too. I can't tell him in, you know, to eat anything in particular right now. Uh, chi and spell. I don't think he needs spell. I don't think he casts spells. I think he just uses miracles. Miracles are different from spells. Uh, miracles are out of combat things, and spells are in combat for the most part. That was the other reason why I didn't want him to be a cursed doggo, because... He doesn't have any combat spells, I don't think. Or he might have some, but they're not really that strong. He's mostly a, just a tank. So. Doggo's just hauling stuff. It would be nice if I could get it up to 50%. I don't know if I ever do. I'm not sure if I've ever paid attention to that. steal from? Okay. No, don't go bother people. Uh, no trees. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't play with clothing, or slaughter animals, or attack buildings, or trees. Can't bite mortals. Hauling again. Okay, so uh, let's put um, yeah, let's put this uh, decorative shelf here. Oh, fire! So you're gonna need to. Uh, oh man, kind of hard to click, to be honest. Maybe I should give um, in the future. Maybe I should give uh, a lining wall uh, behind it or a spot behind it, so we can put stuff behind it and it's a little bit easier to click on click on things just for convenience sake yeah we, we, we need a lot of this stuff so we'll just make a bunch uh, anything else we need we're out of the um, the fey hide already we burned through it so all good, though. These two people have uh, fair clothing now, so they're not complaining about it. Could be better, um, but acceptable. Uh, instantly falls asleep. Yeah, it takes a long time. Uh, she's probably just going to instantly collapse, too, when she's done. <laughs> All right. Stuff's going pretty well, though. Uh, we got, uh, disasters, evil sect people, evils in the world, disturbances. I'd say it's pretty great. Everything's great where I am. <laughs> Central plane is assigning still. Uh, yeah, all our stuff is built here. We have two people. Uh, the cat person and some random person is like, hey, you're a cool cat. It's like John and Garfield over there right now. All right. We're going to have our kitchen soon. We can finally stop, uh, you know, making simple meals right over here. And people have to haul all this food over to this table to eat. It's kind of a mess right now, but we're going we're gonna to sort it out. And then the w well is right here feeding this thing far away. And, yeah. This will be a lot more efficient here in a minute. Perfect. So, yep. Inners are playing. Oh, okay. Now it's actually just slightly auspicious. This is good, though. Uh, so we do need metal cheese stuff. Um, 
Put some, uh, some nice, uh... I'm gonna space for some major statues. Um... Oh, that's, that's kinda, kinda nice looking. Yeah. Um... Yeah, there we go. Apparently we have enough stuff for that, too. Alright. That should help radiate some uh, water element onto this stuff. Our sex feng shui is cultivated. I think if we get everything to very auspicious, I think um, I think we can get it to a stage higher. Um, but uh, this iron bed is not as good as this one. Why is that? So it's because of the spirit wood here. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. We, we need that down here anyway. We don't want that there. All right, uh, charity. So now it costs us 60, but yeah, our uh, Riverbank Plains is, is spitting out wheat now. Great. Uh, we'll go back to watching the Taiyi Temple, try to get the followers up there. The beast occupying this land has awakened. That's not good. Is that uh, that must be this guy down here? I think, right? Oh wow, I'm able to highlight him through the. Okay. Yeah, twenty nine thousand chi, core shaping state six. Yeah, he's uh, definitely awakening. I don't know if that's actually the same person, but we'll assume it is. Uh, some boxes down here. I never noticed. I wonder if I could. I wonder if I could just uh, <laughs> just highlight all the bodies and stuff. Strange, gloomy mood. Okay, it does work for the chickens. Shikyan hmm. found an old box. Twenty marble. Okay. Be something interesting right here too, uh, or even right here. I think that's all the edge of the map, though. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a little bit nicer to have a larger map. I think that's probably my big complaint to this game so far. We just don't have enough room to, you know, branch out and, you know, have some nice scenery to look at. We have this small lake. Uh, with a stream that dies off. Uh, small pond. Um, some metal rocks, which we'll end up mining away. Some nice trees, which we're actually going to get rid of. Uh, we do have two ginkgo trees, which I, th I think is um, uncommon, if I'm not mistaken. So kind of cool we could probably set up something else here it is only wood though it's not like we can find like fire ginkgo trees or anything like that um so it's always just a wood bonus um so i guess if you're new to the game maybe starting off with a fire cultivator uh would be a really good idea like um what zhang is the uh true sun refining law you can just find spirit wood all along the map which is all wood chi as well and then the ginkgo tree on the outside of the array at five and um, you'll be able to cultivate very fast especially in normal difficulty I think in the hard difficulty um, in the immortal difficulty your cultivation speed is decreased as well so pretty sure so uh, go ahead and practice it's almost autumn, so this is actually going to be the worst time to form a golden core for her. Yeah, see, her cultivation speed isn't that good. Uh, let's have you study stuff, too. Um, we can learn that luck thing, Heavenly Harmony. Uh, we can also learn, hopefully... Okay. 
So you can see the attainment below there is counteractive. So instead of it, you know, adding three attainment to us, it's going to add nine because the element kind of destroys us. Um, so I can do it. I, I probably should. Uh, it just sucks because it's going to cost us that much attainment. It's going to make everything so much more expensive going forward, but it'll be worth it, I think. She's already doing it. Uh, we'll have you do it. Okay. And then uh, she'll also need to learn anything that adds max chi. Okay, uh, yeah, greatly increases max G and adds spell power, so we do want that. Um, spell cast, time, and cooldown. It'll be nice later. Uh, increases max G. So the blue, or uh, not the blue, but the brown, um, the brown in this, this area indicates to me automatically that it's a miracle. So miracles are just abilities that you use outside of combat to change what's happening around you. Uh, so not important for what we need need right now. Uh, these this icon is spells, so I know that all of these are they might be nice for us later on, but we don't don't need them right now to form our uh, golden core to form a, a good golden core. Um, so I'm I'm basically just skipping over all of those automatically. I know that these are spells as well in the spell category. But I know that a lot of these are just bonuses too, though. So um, so I'm looking at those. I'm lo mostly looking at these blue ones, though, with the guy sitting inside the blue energy. Um, so you, you'll get good if you're uh, new to the game. You'll get good at, like, just, you know, perusing these libraries pretty quickly. Uh, transform the energies within your body to become that of pure yin. Uh, if you're male, you become female, so that's not a problem for us. Um, and it does add, what was it? Yeah, greatly increases max G, so that's, uh, increases max G. Uh, that increases artifact G, which is not important. Chi sense is good. Uh, that literally just translates to faster, I think, cultivation speed, Chi regeneration, and, uh, max G. So that's all good. Uh, constitution we don't necessarily need, but it's only one attainment, and it increases chi absorption efficiency, uh, so we'll do that. Uh, max chi and recovery, so that's great. Uh, that's all artifact stuff, so that's for combat people. Might be helpful later, not now. Um, no, that's counteractive, and it isn't that important. Uh, greatly increases max chi for 12. <laughs> Uh, that's another max chi for nine. Uh, yeah. Let's, um, I don't know if we can even afford that. So let's start with that and then see how far she gets. Uh, because after Earthfire, yeah, she's going to be making her, she's going to make her golden core with this break breakthrough right here, so. Uh, and then that's right. We wanted to go uh, get the. Um, we might as well do that. Uh, it's it's just a quick uh, quick jaunt. It, it'll help uh, tremendously. Like I said, I'm not trying to min max here that much. I'm just. Uh, I know that this is. Uh, we can get an earth flux here pretty easily, and um, it is a tremendous amount of chi. It will it will make a very noticeable difference. So, um, we'll do that quick little adventure before she becomes a golden core. Uh, we found an ancient casket. I think we find that, yeah, stone casket buried deep beneath mountain rocks. So we found that while mining. Um, the, the thing to know, too, with these is you want to open them with uh, people that have higher luck. Um, she counts good at luck, so she can open it up uh, when she's done transcribing. Zhang is still studying. Excellent. Doggo's waiting. Uh, 
Uh, now he's practicing protection. Uh, he's at 24%. I don't think it's moved. I wonder if we build... Um, hmm, I don't know. A little statue for him later on. Uh, we can't really afford to. I want to build it out of spirit stones like his bed. Although maybe we shouldn't do that because uh, it can only go up to auspicious. Hmm. Yeah, a bit, a bit curious there, because we do kind of want to get as much auspiciousness as possible. We just put one of these against the wall. <laughs> I guess. No, sure, why not? Looks kind of cool, I guess. It's actually like a uh, bedroom separator, I think. Yeah, folding screen for separating the bedrooms. But All good. Doggo's hesitating. Uh, the wheat looks divine. Yeah, I agree. Go ahead and eat that. Because uh, that will improve your fatness and try to counteract this you're getting uh, more bony right wheat yeah wheat adds fat perfect uh, also some pr protect nutrition too which is perfect for the doggo all right spirit wood we have seven so let's uh, try to fill out this array a little bit more to describe okay she finished the law perfect so now she's going to open the casket yep uh looks like it had been there for decades who knows what it holds uh a spirit crystal so a spirit stonk it's our first spirit stonk yeah you can eat it and gain twenty thousand chi instantly uh it's not to your max it's just it refills it uh, but it then also increases your chi affinity, um, just like the spirit stones, actually. Uh, but it's even better than a spirit stone, so. Uh, Shichian had a spark of inspiration. Gain inspiration. Oh. She's not good enough. So nothing happened. Oh, well. A for effort. Uh, so this is auspicious. It might be be getting affected by uh, this storage area. So let's uh, remove storage and uh, build it out over here maybe for now. We have five more spirit wood here. Oh, they're placing it now. All right. Transcribe. Uh, okay, everything's transcribed. Uh, let's see. Last call for studying. Cheap. Yeah, 12. It's tough. Uh, oh, we have purified energies now. That's good. Uh, oh, yeah, and then there's the artifact uh, conditioning chant. Yep. Uh, and then, um, oh, yeah, we're, we're not going to have enough. Um, we're not going to have enough for all that stuff. Um, so, gosh. I guess we'll do that. Uh, we could visit Mount South to collect a belief here. It is 52,000. It would allow us to, uh, I think, maybe get us the last thing. Not sure I really want to do that though. I'm not too concerned about it. Okay. Well, let's see how much inspiration we have after this and then go from there. So, what is her max she looking like? So, she's at 5,000. That's not bad. That's not bad. We're definitely not doing anything to, uh, you know, like. We're not going crazy here at all. Like, you can eat, uh, like this Ganoderma, you can eat it for more Max G. Uh, there's uh, red ginseng as well that you can eat. 
plenty of other things out there too. Um, so we're going to explore the cave, right? Okay, she just fell asleep and then instantly woke up and went over there. All right. Okay, so uh, for some reason that's not enough for the skill board. Uh, hmm, hmm. I guess we could put something right here. It's kind of, uh, kind of weird, though. I guess we'll put a lantern right there. Shouldn't affect these, but if it does... I, I have to increase the size of this room anyway, I think. But, uh, let's see. So at this point, we're about to have our first golden core. Uh, I think we'll do that and then uh, call the episode there. Uh, people are wandering around now, so I guess they have free time. So everything's built right here, so we'll demolish that, demolish that. Uh, flooring. Summer heat is coming, so it'll be extremely warm. I don't think it normally warns us about that, so it must be a really hot. Uh, must be a really hot summer. Okay. So yeah, very auspicious. Uh, that's just regular auspicious, but we could add something else on the outside here. Not a big deal. Uh, very auspicious stove. Perfect. So we don't have to worry about things setting on fire. And now uh, we are fully operational, really. So they're wandering a lot. Uh, we can set up some uh, long-term tasks as well. Uh, creating soil out of this area is one thing, or, or maybe even just straight up uh, fertile soil. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, for fertile soil, you do need um, fertilizer, is what we'll call that. <laughs> so uh, we'll have to look around for that on the map, you actually have to, um, it's uh, banned by default, so you have to look for it on the map and then unban it manually. Um, because otherwise your storage would just fill up with the stuff and obviously we, we don't need uh, extra fertilizer. There's some fertilizer right there, so female chicken fertilizer. Um, yeah, that's the stuff, so unban it. And they'll haul it over there. Um, another thing, uh, I kind of want to take out this pond, so maybe we start doing that. So we'll put some soil right, uh, right there, and then um, right there. Let's see what happens. So instead of them saying, "Hey, uh, we don't have any jobs," uh, I'll, I'll show you jobs. We'll mine all that stuff out too, actually. So I have all this room. Uh, we can put some more. Uh, inner beds and um, other stuff around here so we do have a bit more spirit soil uh, Shikian what do you oh yeah, that's right you uh, your yin yang is low the season is poor um, costs you five lifespan too. Uh, let's, let's give it a shot though. Uh, it is um, five hours away. Oh man, it looks like it is a fast one, so it is going to be poor yin-yang. Yeah, I bet she fails. Nope, she's succeeded. Perfect. All right. She'll go to her bed to cultivate. Actually, she can come here. So, uh, stop that and go cultivate. Perfect. Yeah, 
he does mine quite well, but as you can see here, I feel like we lost quite a lot of stuff. Um, so I don't really like that, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to get that up to 50%, so we'll leave it on. Um, maybe we'll restrict the... Maybe we'll just do a little bit of mining while he's asleep or something. Uh, just micro it. Uh, this place is suffused with natural power, supernatural power, and suspected there might be some treasure. Okay, cool. We got a, a, a bonus Earth Flux. That wasn't even the one that I was counting on. So we're going to enter here, and we're going to grab one ourselves. Pretty sure. Let's see if we can spot one. Yeah, I think I do remember this place. Uh, it's kind of like a labyrinth. Yeah. We definitely want to explore, yeah, because uh, 3,000 cheap. Uh, Zhang will be a little bit tougher now. She has a couple, couple things that add uh, artifact power, I think. 26, yeah. Not really, but uh, probably a little bit better than what it was in the past, so we'll speed this up. Yeah, Doggo's kind of getting tore up. Yeah, we'll super speed this up. Actually, wow. Doggo might actually not live long enough. Man. Might have to leave early, yeah. That's unfortunate. I wonder why. I think I only had 3,000 chi. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's just another cultivator. Uh, oh, okay. 151 jade. I'll take that too. Collect, collect, collect. Okay. Yeah, look at this maze, you know? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah, that's a really nice item. Uh, most people don't know this. I think regular, most most players don't know this. It's a pill to restore chi, right? Um, it greatly boosts cultivation, but should be consumed after the golden core phase. And that's actually not, at least early on, it's not really why it's useful. Uh, it has gather chi on it, and I don't think people realize that. It's actually better than a sage fruit, uh, a spirit fruit, a uh, spirit root, I mean. Uh, gather chi 90. Its range is only two, so it has to be like right next to your cushion. Uh, or your spot that you're cultivating at. But uh, Gather Chi 90 is huge. Um, I don't actually know of... I don't really know of anything that's, like, n uh, you know, higher than 90. So I think those are, like, the best chi, uh, metal Chi gathering items in the game, and people just kind of think it's a regular pill, you know? Uh, just some medicine. Uh, well, we're definitely taking it. Um, that's good stuff. Uh, so the problem here is uh, we have a, a 2,800 um, chi turtle kind of guarding the earth flux. Let's explore a little bit, and then I'm gonna use I'm, I'm gonna do something a little bit uh, a little bit cheeky, you know. Uh, is this area clear? Okay, it's just another labyrinth. There's probably at least one more spirit beast in here somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of scared. Let's finish out that hallway. As long as I don't run into it, I should be fine. It's probably in here. Yep. I need some heart. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do... Actually, I'm going to walk past him and finish this area first. I want to make sure that I'm ready to go. 
uh, when I mess around with Turtle Boy here. Oh boy. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, well. Whew. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything interesting in there anyway, so um, there might be, but we're not dealing with that right now. Do you not move anymore now? He's supposed to return over here, but he might be stuck. Let's uh, let's go the long way. This will be interesting. Oh, God, that scared me. Okay. All right. So uh, the reason why I was kind of scared is because uh, I want I want this guy to have enough cheat. He is regenerating it. Um, Mm -hmm. Do we fight this guy normally and just, let's just, gosh, this is going to take a long time. I'm pretty sure time does not actually pass, though. This feels kind of, uh, this feels kind of like an exploit a little bit. Um, I don't know, I think we'll do it, though. If we can kill one more spirit beast and go home, uh, we'll be maxed on stuff. Because we're going to use one uh, slot for the Earth Flux. And um, we already have a Samsara pill, and we already had two other things from the other beast. So this will be perfect. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Uh, surprisingly, that snake... Um, took like no damage I feel like uh, maybe it's her fault yeah this thing is only five artifact power hmm hard to say let's uh yeah let's um let's just go at like 20,000 or something <laughs> I know that the time doesn't pass but it still uh is unsettling Hope, uh, we'll hope that's enough. I don't know if it will be, though. Oh, actually, we have... Uh, oh, that's right. We have the Jade, too. Oh! Actually, uh, that's okay. You can take a little bit of damage. We'll just be careful. Okay, the turtle's slower. Okay, you need to run. No, 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 no. Okay. As long as you have chi, um, you don't take any damage. So in the health section, you can see uh, that her chi is creating a barrier around herself. I don't know how the exact numbers influence each other in the game, but um, you have what's called a chi barrier, basically, a chi shield uh, that you create. And... Um, the more powerful your chi, your chi shield, the less chi you need to defend against X amount of damage. Um, so, uh, so obviously, you really want someone that's able to tank stuff, which the doggo is really good at. Um, barrier power, uh, it's not the best or anything, but like already he has so much chi that he's able to tank for a long time. Um, you can get this up... Uh, you can get this up way higher, so it could be like five points per chi. So every point of chi uh, blocks five damage, basically, um, is how I understand it. So, uh, let's see, how is this turtle doing? Oh, hey, he's almost dead. We're good. Mission successful. So, um, doggo, uh, deal with that thing, and then you collect that. And then we'll decide. I think we want the demon beast hide more than the blood, at least for now. Yeah, let's just take the hide. Like I said, you. Um, I think demon beasts uh, respawn forever, so you could probably visit this map maybe like, in, like in a few months or something like that. I don't know how often the respawn is or whatever, but. You should be able to visit again and collect more stuff. So it's not... You don't have to worry about, like, getting everything, you know? 
the stuff on the ground though i'm pretty sure does not respawn um except in a few instances like i think you can go to Nanping village uh over here and gather this meat repeatedly like that's infinite i, I don't think everything is infinite though i'm pretty sure like Rare stuff like that Earth Flux probably is not infinite. Um, uh, so, uh, uh, go for it. This is still a cheese shaping. Uh, this will push her into core if she's finished with it. She will get a uh, good... Um, it's still hot, but... Uh, I think it's just because she's a snake. She doesn't really like it at all. Zoom stopped uh, the disaster. Good. See the world. The nature. Nature's healing. Look at that. All we have is a disturbance now. Nothing. It's all good. We're fine. Everything is fine. Uh, okay. So she failed. So um, she needs to regenerate her chi. Before she can try again. She has to be max chi to try. Okay, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> so they're mining a bunch. And uh, it's cold. So let's just tell her to stop doing that for now. Yeah, that's fine. This side is... <clears throat> it's the ice crystal ore standing next to that stuff. Just got to be careful with it. Uh, if I try it again, it should be barely in time. Let's try it right here where it's a little bit more dense. See what happens. play with clothing uh yeah no mines okay she can did it this time all right yeah look at that and the temperature talents will erase that hot mood that she had earlier too let's see uh it's still unbearable i guess uh, maybe it clears after a while cool uh dog goes to sleep Shikian, uh, I guess you could just keep practicing, honestly. Go for it. So she's already in the core shaping phase. Uh, her heaven system. So she's on longevity. Uh, yeah, next is golden core. So we want to be careful with doing that one. Uh, we might hold off on her. Actually, we might even have her uh, reach core shaping and just start uh, adventuring around the map. Because, like I said, when she's outside of the map, her tribulation timer won't increase. So it's a good way of, like, mitigating it um, while you try to save that character, basically. Um, uh, let's see. So, yeah, two Earth Fluxes. Um, so I think I should be able to eat this, no problem. Let's find out. Yep. She did. So, yeah. So, 5,000 to 8,000. That's going to make a big difference. Um, definitely, definitely worthwhile. And, and she can go, as you saw, just her adventuring over there, she has a chance of just plucking one right out of the ground. So, we'll be doing that a lot, too. Um, I, you know, it's, it's, it's free real estate, right? I mean, you know, it takes, like, no time, and you pop one, and you get 3,000 chi before you make your golden core. And uh, I'll show it here in a second. Uh, we're going to wait for... Uh, well, her mood's good. Um, let's see. We need chi, though. So let's eat, uh, let's eat our spirit buck. Not the spirit stonk. Eat a spirit buck. Uli's hurt, but I don't really care about him. If I'm being honest. He is a, he's, he's, one, he's our best guy, but... Okay, so yeah, so the spirit buck, as you can see, it 
gives you that chi affinity, which increases your regen speed. Um, use spirit stone and cultivation to resonate uh, chi recovery and cultivation speed. So it's good for just plain practicing, like what she's doing right now. But uh, we just want the chi. And we're good. And it's 3 a.m. Um, she's tired, but uh, I don't think that matters. Yeah, she's exhausted. Um, let's see. I, I don't really want to do this because then it'll lower her mental state. I'd really like it to stay in 96. But... Uh, but um, they don't need to sleep necessarily. If they're practicing or cultivating, basically, under the practice state or or any state, really, as long as they're cultivating, they gain energy that way, too, so that they become less tired. Um, but I don't want her to drop below 95 pristine. Okay, so there it is. She's no longer tired. It's 5 a.m. Set her to mind. Uh, cancel. And, oh, <laughs> I did all that, and then I and then I realize uh, she's not ready to break through. So we're doing <laughs> we're, we're doing it tomorrow. Uh, well, uh, let's reconvene on day fifty. Uh, <laughs> uh, luckily, though, uh, so she has the chi resonance. So look at how fast that cultivation is going. Um, later on, you can do a bunch of extra stuff to increase the cultivation speed because so i think hers is um yeah it's only 173 percent bonus but um oh man that's silly all right let's just uh get that up to four grand uh let's see and then uh we'll set her to mind so it, oh oh okay the dog the dog companion came out all right nice it would be nice if I could start the breakthrough right now. I might, I might do it. It's twelve. We're losing some daylight here. Uh, uh, uh let's see. Uh, it's gonna be like two. No. Uh, let's just try to get our mental up without the doggo bonus, because this doggo bonus is gonna fall off, and she's gonna need to restore her mental anyway. So uh, we'll watch her a little bit. Um, and then you can see in Immortal Mode, uh, I think it says success normally for regular ones, and then but it says uh, estimated for those. Uh, is there anything we could do really quick for... Um, yeah, see, we don't have any... Uh, yeah, it's fine. We don't have any uh, experience points anymore. We're out. Yeah, that's uh, as good as it gets. 8,000 is great, though. Uh, I was hoping to get kind of our law match up a little bit more. So, um... Alright. And then, uh, yeah, so she's, she's only composed. She's in the harmony state now, but it's 10 more till pristine. I don't think she's gonna get there. Um... You can later on you can make some uh, pills which are good called purity pills. I think they use these. I don't think we. I don't even think we have any purity. Oh, we do have purity. This will help a little bit, but it won't be enough. Um, we don't have any purity pills already, do we? I don't think so. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Eighty-five is fine. Or six, or whatever. Uh, all right, and then, um, yeah, well, weather is perfect, that's right, um, so this heat is good. Oh, that's actually nice, okay, that's not bad. That basically, uh, covers the fact that we're doing this at, like, the, the wrong time of the year, it's the wrong season, basically. So, uh, 2 a.m.? Oh, wow, yeah, your mental state is garbage. Go ahead and fix that. Yeah, there's no way. She's 
She's not even able to move past 86, I don't think, it seems like. 4 a.m., though. Five a.m. Yin Yang is starting to go, so we're gonna go now. Uh, there'll be travel time here. Yeah, that's perfect. Because uh, she starts forming the core this whole time, uh, so really we want to start basically right as it's turning. Slow down a little bit so you can see. Um, so it takes her max chi into account and starts to form, and then as this Yin Yang increases, she'll get more towards her golden core status per point of chi. So, it's not going to be uh, great, uh, but it'll be pretty good. It'll be decent. Maybe like uh, Golden Core 4? We'll see. Maybe 5. Uh, mysterious Cave. Going to an unknown ancient mortal. Uh, we'd have to be proficient in alchemy to explore it. So, uh, that's not us. Hmm. Yep. So, uh, obviously, uh, this gets a lot better if you uh, do it at the right time. You have more coziness, so your, your cushion is higher quality. Uh, if you do it, you know, like I said, the right season. Um, uh, if you have good stats for your law. Um, your mood, uh, yeah, our mood is only 150. It can actually go up to 200. It, you know, we really should have done that, too, now that I think about it. Uh, she's injured. What? That is... Maybe she got hurt from the turtle earlier. So we're kind of rushing this a little bit, but we don't really care that much, to be honest. Uh, she's not going to be great, even if we spend a little bit of extra time sorting things out. Actually, oh gosh. It looks like she might be just six or... F yes, uh, I guess she'll hit five. Duh, maybe she's six. Oof. Man, tough. Tough life. That's fine. She'll uh, train the next, uh, the next generation of disciples to be much better than her. Yeah, it looks like uh, five is going to be it. Not bad. That'll do. It'll do. Doggo. Uh, stop waiting. Okay. Uh, there we go. So, uh, as you can see here, I'm going to pause the game because we've got a charity event too, but um, you gain a lot of stuff for your Golden Core Breakthrough. Uh, you can't redo really it though, so um, unless you, uh, you know, go through a rebirth process. So uh, that's it. So she's a Golden Core uh, 5 Cultivator, uh, which is just a middling, basically right in the middle. Um, not good, not terrible. Uh, so she'll gain a lot of stuff. She becomes much more immune to the elements. Uh, spell power bonuses, artifact bonuses, uh, a lot of max chi, and this, these numbers get stupid large later on. Um, yeah, so she can absorb chi better. Uh, she uses less stamina, which is uh, needed to actually practice. Uh, and she can fly even faster. So, great. Uh, the young gentleman were fighting over a woman again. Great, we know exactly what to do with that. Uh, so if you've selected uh, social already, and it says the auto selection is social, so you don't actually have to click it, it'll disappear on its own. Uh, good if you're like, if you've seen every single event out there in the game and, you know, you can just ignore it. You can actually, I think, completely disable these messages at a certain point, too. So... working on our mind right now um we could do that yeah go for it what's the worst that could happen 
All right. So we have our first golden core, Zhang Panlan. Her max chi is now 21,000, so she's uh, kind of on par with Doggo out here, at least for now. Doggo is going to get a lot bigger, too. And um, she is now the anchor of our sect. Maybe we'll return to setting her as the sect leader. How about that? Yeah, she's the new leader. And uh, I think that's it for now, everyone. Uh, let me know if uh, if you have any questions, of course. Uh, like I said, this game is pretty confusing. I'm guessing most people that stumble on these videos will be experienced Amazing Cultivation Simulator folk. But uh, if anything is weird uh, or stands out to you, or if you have any suggestions, let me know. Until then, see you guys next time.